So nigga, what's the word? <laughs> so wait, so wait, we were we. <laughs> so before you we were, uh, bef- yeah, before we were, uh, but while we were gathered in the in the the pre-recording studio, we were talking about what we were gonna do today. Uh, we were talking about Word Up by Corn and and Corn in general, and you brought up Alien Ant Farm, Alien Ant Farm, and you, uh, for some reason, well, you said, "Do you know what the guy? Do you know what that guy did?" And I don't, I don't know. I'm not privy to this. I don't know how recent this is. So what was that? Because I'm curious. No, you were right. Well, you, you remember he what, raped you remember an what ant, said, right? Yeah, he raped an ant. Yeah, he, he, I don't think that's. He I, finally, <laughs> he figured it out. <laughs> he, he went. To, he went to. Uh, he went to. Uh, fuck. What's that guy's name? Uh, Honey, I shrunk the kids. He went to that guy. So this is the whole thing. This is what. This is the real story. This is what actually happened. So the Alien Out Farm singer. Went to um, what is the the actor's name uh, in Honey I Shrunk the Kids? The main guy, uh, the Ghostbusters uh, guy, Rick Moranis. Thank you. Uh, so he went to him, and then he, he at gunpoint said, "I need you to shrink my penis so I can rape an ant." And Rick Moranis was like, "Yo, I that was a movie." <laughs> but the thing is, he held him up. <laughs> he held him up long enough. To where he actually made a shrink fucking machine. Oh, shut the He fuck. made a shrink machine. <laughs> that is Can one of the most ridiculous wait, what, what? things. That is one of the most... <laughs> wait, time out, time out. Before we continue, we're going to continue. That is one of the most absolutely ridiculous things I've ever heard in my mouth. This motherfucker said, I need you to shrink my dick. <laughs> <laughs> until I can fucking it, and some guy re- retorts with a gun to his face. Yo, that was a movie, dude. <laughs> dude, that's a film. That's a, that's like who can? No one can do that. I'm not Ant Man. Then he fucking he he fucking you know cocked the gun. So he did he, he did he, it out he, of he sheer out of sheer out of sheer fear. He was able to. <laughs> To break quantum I like the physics, idea of he, uh, he was able to make. It. I like the idea of someone roughing up Rick Moranis for some reason, like someone like violently that shoving happened. him. That actually happened. He just see, he just oh, like someone that needs that. to be actually, violently shoved. That actually, shoved. actually literally happened. He got he got assaulted in New York for no reason. Which is crazy because like <laughs> he's like, was like, why would you like, assault Rick Moranis? Like of all he's of such the a famous, non-assaultable person. Like like of all of the famous like <laughs> white actors from back then, I feel like he's like one of the least troublesome. Like he's not he's not like a you know he's he's not like um I don't know James Woods or like any you know what I mean or Kevin Sorbo he's not like one of these people who's out there being like a fucking even psycho. Kevin's yeah just wilding out and just is Kevin Sorbo the wild shit. Yes. Kevin well no, he, Kevin Sorbo's not like he's not going out and raping people on the street or anything but well, he, yeah, he's like not, a, I mean Chris obviously there's no, a he's just wild and he's just villainous. ultra he's just ultra chud you know he he, yeah, he yeah. figured out what uh, who else did that um who uh who's the one that's in all the Adam Sandler movies Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider Rob figured it out to stay, yeah, to stay relevant. They figured out to be mega fucking chuds, and then you know it's like you know Andrew Tate's fan. All you got to do is just be an asshole, and you'll get a huge fucking audience. They figured it out. Yeah, Kevin yeah, Sorbo like figured Sorbo. it out. He's one of my he's one of my heroes from growing up. Well, see, that's up. what sucks. Like I grew up with this shows. Like my mom was such a huge fan of Xena. I watched Hercules, which was all right, with his gay uh, best friend Yolis. And, Yolis um, was him and Yolis weren't gay, bro. They were just they really were close friends. Obviously gay. They were not gay, they, bro. Dude he, dude, he was obviously a power bottom. Yolis, that's like so fucking okay. obvious. Wait, 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 wait. Go back and watch the wait, show. Wait, 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 wait. And you'll, I, am, I am still no closer to understanding what this alien ant farm guy you wanna, actually. You want to know what's going on? With the- I, I do want to know <laughs> what okay, he did. Okay, okay, what he actually did. The funny thing, it actually does involve a penis. So he was performing. <laughs> he was like he was performing um, on stage. And then you know, it was like, Annie, are you okay and shit? And then like a guy was, re- you know, how people reach out and stuff like when you get when they get close to the stage to yeah, where yeah. the crowd is. And then so a guy reached out and then you know it gave him a little bit of dap. And then he pulled his hand to his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so he got assaulted. And then, and then so the alien ant farm guy, you know, the alien ant farm singer assaulted a guy. Right, because oh. he pulled his hand on his penis, and then fucking he got arrested. 
<laughs> Somebody was offended enough to press charges. That's fucking when, crazy. Like, it's just like... Wait, so the, like, guy, okay, so the alien true, ant farm lead singer crime. pulled the guy's yes. hand to his dick? There's he pulled video a fan's of him. hand to his yeah, dick. because he just gave him, dab, you know, like, you, you know, you handshake. So you just grab somebody's hand in the crowd. It's just a, such a normal thing to do. But he pulled his hand to his crotch and made him touch his dick, essentially. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> that's what you, you know what? That's what you get. That's what you get for being front row at a fucking, like, the, at, at, <laughs> that's at the what you get for farm. being front at row. Alien you shut farm. the fuck up. Shut the fuck You said that's what you get for sitting so, in front row. That's of course, you, you deserve to be assaulted. <laughs> now, th- what, now, I'm not saying. All the saying... jokes were just like, oh, guess he's not a smooth criminal after all. And all that yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Bullshit. I thought it was going to be some kind of like yeah. wild. I thought it was going to be some wild like Andrew Callahan type stuff where like the alien oh, ant farm no, no, singer no, no. was was uh, grooming a bunch of ants <laughs> in different con- in different states. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it was gonna be like a fucking whole fucking situation. Just said that <laughs> we should he's grooming, grooming ants. ants. We should, oh my he's, lord! He's, he's sticking his dick in ant farms <laughs> and just <laughs> busting violently in them. He covers he's his ant. He, he, he covers his. He covers his. Uh, he covers his penis in honey or like sugar water, <laughs> and then just dips it in an ant farm. And then they just start coming from every which direction to get some of his dick, bro. And he's such a narcissist that he just has smooth criminal on repeat. As oh he's my doing it god! Too. His version. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> his version. Yeah. yeah Everyone yeah. loves this song. The ants will love it too. Everyone loves just, this version more than the original. Everyone. As he fucks you an walk ant into farm his house. The, the, the fucking police raid his house, and it's just filled with ant farms and just. Come everywhere. That's oh all. He just God. every time he busts, he never cleans up. It's so filled with oh ant God. farms and come. Oh my <laughs> God! There's one half ant, what half is boy. happening. And that's right. why. And like I said, true story. That's why he went to Rick Moranis and uh, held him at gunpoint. Right. Well, yeah. speaking that's of right. Andrew Callahan, uh, that is <laughs> that is the. That is the most recent thing that's had. I, I would say the biggest thing, in my opinion. Like, there's some other stuff that's happened that's kind of big, but like, I think this is the biggest because Andrew Callahan, obviously from All Gas No Breaks, which I guess was a All little bit more no literal breaks. than you know, stop than we thought it was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been thinking about. I was like, should I tweet that out? But I was like, <laughs> All Rape No Breaks. <laughs> All Rape No. Like, what is wrong to, with you? I decided what not is- to tweet it out. <laughs> What well, is man, wrong you know, with you? <laughs> how, are you? How long have you been sitting on that? <laughs> All yes, no nos. I was nos. sitting on it last night. <laughs> All yes, no nos. No nos. I think, no uh, nos. so anyway, All so rape, obviously, no breaks. <laughs> obviously this guy, this guy big on, uh, on YouTube, he's, he's done a lot of viral, like man on the street content. Usually, uh, a, a long time ago it was like party content, but recently it's kind of gone into, uh, politics, basically like going to like, Trump rallies and QAnon rallies and and just interviewing Antifa and all these they're actually like really great videos. Um and he just yeah. had uh he just had a movie like a doc on HBO called This Place Rules I think and it's just uh it's about he just goes around and interviews people uh at and around the Capitol riot basically. Um and it's fucking, you know, it's a good documentary, to be fair. To, to, to be completely honest, it's pretty fucking good. There's, like, a lot of really good shit in there. But, I mean, shit, literally. Roman Polanski made some good shit. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. It's a, I guess it's a very hey. similar situation, you know? That's hey. what happens. <laughs> to a lesser extent, but. <laughs> no, I mean, that's it's what. like, the, scale of one to ten. <laughs> no, it, it is a very, it's very much, like, I mean, Cosby was a fer- pretty fucking famous comedian. He's probably, he was, it is actually staggering to me how many of my favorite comedians adored Bill Cosby. Because I yeah, who didn't never, adore Bill Cosby, I I never found his stand up particularly good at all. Well, um, did you have you ever actually watched like like in all fairness, it, I've this seen makes his stand up. I've seen we his are not in our sixties, you know. So right, right, right. That's, that is fair. It is we fair, could yeah. have not seen his stand ups. Well, I've did. seen two of them, and that's because I was raised by my grandma. That is the mm. only reason why I saw them, and they were just. Funny, they were just like family funny. Like, and then my son comes in and he does something loony, and I just got to stay like, "All right, son." They were fine. Whatever even, you say, like that's know. like kind of comedy. It, it is. Was, yeah, it was. It, it is. It, it's just one of those. 
I don't know. There's a lot of com- there are some comedians who I like, but I don't like their stand up for some reason. Like I don't know. Like I like them as mm. like if if Larry David did stand up, I don't know if I would like it. Jerry Seinfeld's a great example. Mm. Like I don't really like his stand up really at all, but I like his I, writing. I, totally I like when he mean. writes. Totally. I don't know. How, I don't know how people can like his stand up. I mean, there's, yeah, a of, there's, so, there's a lot of basic so people. There's a lot of basic contemporary. You know, it's, it's so very. Like, it is very contemporary. It, it, it's the <laughs> most. It, it, but it's so weird because like there's so many videos of him like talking to Tom Papa and and like and 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 videos of him talking to like other comedians like on their podcast and he is funny. But for whatever reason, like he goes up there and he does that routine and I just I don't I don't I don't I get do, it. It's so confusing. Totally agree. Um, the thing, there's a the lot thing of there's I a think, lot of comedians. I think, like I think that. Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah is funnier as the character of Jerry than he is as a comedian. So when you're talking to him, you might get the Jerry character instead of the comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Well, well, what and I, I mean, think that's funnier. Well, what I mean is like him him when he's being just himself on like podcasts and stuff and he's like riffing with other comedians. Like that that there's a great uh I love that video of him, Chris Rock, Louis C.K. and Ricky Gervais. I think it's called like Talking Funny. Uh-huh. It's like an hour long just video of them just like riffing with each other. And it's awesome. It's great. But anyway, we're getting off topic. The, the whole point is, uh, you know, uh, this Andy guy Callahan. made this guy you, makes you a lot of joyous content. Yeah, this guy makes a lot of good shit. But apparently, he's also a <laughs> like a <laughs> he's a sex deviant. <laughs> he's a sex he's deviant. A fucking, I, he's not necessarily like it's tiptoeing the line of sexual assault, right? I mean, because <laughs> like the first woman that came out, she did say. Like I want, she said specifically that he did eventually get consent, but that's the point. That eventually, he was yeah. so persistent, like would not leave her alone until she finally was like, "Fine, hurry up and nut in me," you know, kind of a thing. That is so crazy. And then, and then so, can can can, can we just happening? like it, can we do a quick PSA here? <laughs> <laughs> you should never have to fight for consent. You know, like this is like a <laughs> yeah, very baseline. Really, just, just a very just baseline. Pussy's so not worth that much, you know. Like, no, <laughs> I have. You have. Just if, chill, even if it was guy. worth it, bro. Even if it was worth it, it's just like it's if just chill, it's not bro. welcome. Here, my brain is, and this is a very simple concept. If she doesn't want it, I'm not into it. That it's so it's, fucking yeah. simple. Very yeah. simple. <laughs> very simple. There's also just a base very level. Simple drawing, you know. There's also just a base, just a base level of like, why would you put. Like, there's, like, a self-preservation aspect that I don't fully understand. Like, why would you do this to another person? Not only for what you're doing to that person, but also for your your fucking sake. Like, why would you even open up the door in in that <laughs> yeah. way? It seems so fucking crazy. Like, I, I, I am so paranoid about this shit specifically because I, 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 I remember I brought uh, – on one of my first dates ever – out here in Los Angeles, I remember I went out. I went out with this girl. We went to this this bar. We were drinking. We were making out. It was like a whole thing. It's like the, like there was no question about it that we were into each other and we were like down. And when she came back to my place and I was like, I'm not doing anything. I'm I'm not doing jack because I am that <laughs> like I am that tuned into the idea that oh, like that- I don't want anything. And I couldn't ask like, oh, can I please? That- no, I'm not gonna do that. So I just sat there silently yeah, little- and fell asleep. <laughs> that's a little. Just, that's a little. I wouldn't recommend doing that. That's no. a little. But you gotta <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta, but this, you is, but this is also. This is also <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. I want to clarify. Fear. This is also. This is, is also. This is also my first actual sexual encounter as an adult living on my own outside of like college or something. Mm. So like, I didn't wow. know this person. I we met that day. So I was like, is it really? Is this really happening? Like on the first? Like it can't be in the first date. Like it's not normal, right? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, and so I was like, I'm. I'm just. I'm not doing anything. We laughed about it later because, like, it's obvious that, like, it was, like, where obviously the night was going that way. But the idea that people will not have that enthusiastic lead up and then continue to press is fucking baffling to me. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mark. It, it's a very, it's a very uh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Mark. I said no. I said no, Homer. Oh my God, we can't. I don't want to hear this. I I don't. I do not want to hear Homer Simpson pressuring Marge. Okay. All right, get your dick out, homie. Hurry up. 
Reveal it. Woohoo! <laughs> Jesus, funny. <laughs> just right. immediately, he fucking just immediately grazes her nuts. Don't! Just, just <laughs> passes out. <laughs> fucking passes out hard. Like someone Homer slammed nutting. a book shut. <laughs> Don't! Oh! Oh, how how would Homer nut? Oh, 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 I don't even know. All right, it probably sounds like Bart when he's getting oh, choked. Marge. I'm coming, Bart. <laughs> he sounds like Bart when he's getting choked. Exactly. Uh, like that. It's a. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it, it goes. Um, Marge, I'm coming. There it is. There it is. Mm. <laughs> Ew, that's, that's, that's not like uh, Mo. Mm. Was that is, is that fucking Mo? <laughs> it's supposed to be Marcus Phoenix. My voice is fucked. Anyway, so Andrew Callahan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Andrew Callahan. Uh, mm. it, this no, is that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Yeah, it was fine. Andrew Callahan is. Uh, a, a, so at, at first, it was one person who came forward uh, with a story, and to be fair, it was a story that didn't even seem particularly like out of like it. It, it wasn't like a wild out of out of place story. It seemed like all right. That seems pretty plausible and you know there's there's at least some kind of like all right well he needs to respond to this and before any of that happened i saw that about an hour ago he admitted to it but i don't know uh i don't know what the statement actually is but there's been like a lot of other people and apparently he's like known for this he just like like people understand that this <laughs> he's is what that he guy and there are people <laughs> and, well, well there are people who like go around there are people who are sharing stories independently of like yeah he just sort of like he he uses his RV and he like kind of crashes at people's places and then he just pesters them for sex. Uh, and it, it, it's like a thing that everybody knew independently. Just crazy. Um, yeah. The the thing what what really speaks to me is that um you know at some point he's gonna apologize blah 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 but I just feel like it's horseshit because he you talk about self preservation and. You would think that you know this. You're blowing up. You know this is gonna catch up with you. So what I'm assuming is he probably didn't think that. What he actually probably thought was he wasn't doing anything wrong. That's what I feel. I feel like because it must be to right? get to the point where you're this big, you have an HBO thing, you're blowing the fuck up, and then just like all these other fucking pieces of shit that have been caught, you know, like Cosby and all of them. I feel like they don't think they did anything wrong. They're like, this is yeah, this is what I do. Like the fucking oh, they, or they like it. They 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 because they didn't say anything they didn't really protest right they just kind of were silent in misery and all that shit and I, I feel like they this, twisted this is, away it's so disgusting it just, it's a disgusting I, I don't, set I, of conversations that's the only way that I can that's the only way that I can it's really so easy to just not it. force yourself on people like I've done it my whole life you, you know force like yourself it's, on people? it's yeah it's like I'm I just don't I just I'm just chilling I just don't take advantage of people and I've been fine. Yeah, you just take advantage of people. That's pretty. I, I, I mean, don't. I don't. Wow. I don't. I, I, I said I That's don't. Crazy. We should edit that. Oh. We should oh, edit. Oh, key, we should sorry. edit keywords. Out of I will state. fight you both. I will assault you both next time I see you. <laughs> don't do that. My name's Tom Sweet, and I hate the gays. <laughs> just another situation. <laughs> this is another situation this is, like this that. Is 2.0. For years, this is two For years, I have to worry about. It'd be like, that. listen, that's still uh, legendary. It'd it, be like my. It'd be like my name is Kingston Jenkinson, and I do not. I love rape. And then that's it. it's like a fucking really horrific. Just a complete edit of me saying hey, that, yo. and it gets it goes viral. Like, did you hear what he said? YouTube did you hear dude. what he said on that show? It, it goes viral, dude. Our podcast blows up. The um thing, the right hits me up with one of those looming yo. messages. And you it's, have to indulge. You have to become Andrew Tate 2.0. You excuse me, Mr. Jameson. I could offer you a lot of money if you start going down this pipeline. Yo. I would say yes for us, man. I would, I would do Tate. it for the whole group. Jameson Tate. Dude, go by Jameson Tate. Jameson like, it'll Tate. fucking pop Jameson off. It'll pop Jameson off. Tate. You get your aviators, and for some reason, you start having a shitty British accent. And I lose and a just, ton of weight. I get really jacked. I get a Bugatti, too. <laughs> you get a Bugatti. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I, like, I'm, so, I'm so fucking on board. Like if you, I'm saying if if my homies do it with me, I, I will do it. I can't You'll do it by grift? myself. Would you grift? Actually, would you genuinely grift? It needs to be. Look, it would have to be like this. We all go in knowing that we're doing this specifically for money, but we have no real actual ill intent. I can't do it by myself. It has to be a group effort to the point where there's a bunch of people that know we're fucking grifting specifically because we just want to live a comfortable life, and we just infiltrate the right. And then we just all we do is specifically prey on those people, and the people that are self-aware are okay with it. Maybe 
Like, like <laughs> maybe <laughs> we're expl- explaining it on the podcast like this. They might be like, oh, that's hilarious. They're infiltrating and pretending they're this and they'll, they'll find it entertaining. And meanwhile, the people the you know, we're signed with the um, Prager U or, or, or the wire or something. They don't know that we're fucking around. They don't know. And then everybody else would think it's funny. I think that's Chris, the only can you way grift? You got the power. You got the power to grifting you. Uh, I I don't know. Like I would. It. What it's about in that context much... that I told? Like, the, the, what about like, in that context? Like, say you, you almost launch a blueprint and let people know, hey, we're gonna do this. We we couldn't what let people context? know. Is the thing we'd have to we'd have to scrub, or just hope that nobody finds mm. these episodes. Like, <laughs> I, I think uh, I think we would. But see, the right doesn't care though. They don't. You know yeah. they don't care. That is They've true. been exposed by so many times. Have so you I seen feel like... Donald? Tr- have you seen Don- any of Donald Trump's old fucking? You're right. You're right. You're right. right. We, we could we could probably it's be insane. like nah, He's we, the most we could, liberal we could probably, motherfucker ever. We could probably be like this is the actual. Say it to their faces. <laughs> no, we could we could be like actually us yeah. saying that on the show was actually to keep some. To, to it was like it was like uh like double 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 agent. Yeah, it's to keep the right off our backs, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, anyway, dude, I love that idea. Um, I just, bro, I just want a Bugatti. Like uh, that's all. Bugatti. I, I just Bugatti? want, like, I just want, I just want a fucking Bugatti. How's and, our GoFundMe uh, yeah. doing? That's it. Oh yeah. Do you want me to actually make a GoFundMe? I'll do it. How many, mi- how many oh, millions are we? No, don't make a GoFundMe. I'll do it. Like I don't make a GoFundMe, and I was like, whatever, dude. <laughs> don't We're make trying a GoFundMe. To get a anyway, anyway. So yeah, we'll we'll see how this situation yeah. develops. Uh, apparently, there's um I don't know. There's a conversation happening with H yeah. three. I think. Uh, oh I, yeah, I, like I I heard that he reached out to him and he's doing. I just I hate this. Like oh he's not doing. Like he, he's having a mental breakdown. I I I, I hate this shit because it it's. It, it, <sighs> I just, I almost feel like people who are shitty just don't, you, you can't give them that, f- I don't know, man, I don't know how I feel about that, look, I feel look, a little I look, conflicted. Look, 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 there's, look, a, there's, a little conflicted. there's there's a degree, that it's it's tricky, man, like, I, I think the second that you start pressuring yourself onto what seems to be dozens of women, that's not a that's mental it. breakdown, you know, that's just, that's no, just well, not- is this, right? <laughs> I don't, yeah, you, don't, well, you don't get to get caught and then have a fucking mental breakdown, man. Look, people, I, I just, people it, do shitty shit, right? And then, like, very often they're not aware how shitty the things they're doing is, and then and then it hits them, and they they go through the highs I, and lows, right? But like, but, you think but, he finally understands? I don't know. I don't. Man. I don't. I don't entirely believe. It. I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe. I often don't believe that you realize that quickly. You know, like I know people that have been to jail for like genuinely terminating lives. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and then years later they grow older and they're like oh yeah what i did was horrible i did terrible terrible things i and they better themselves like people can better themselves i'm not someone to shy away sure. from that belief that, that, I, sure. I, I it's rare I, it's rare but it exists i think that's possible i just think there's a there's a certain degree of like what is acceptable to come back from, and I feel like these are the types of things that are just kind of, I, I, uh, I, I don't know shady. if you, I, 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 that's, he's a fucking rapist. You can, I, look, 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 look. His, look, biggest, I'm, I'm his a, biggest problem is that he was, he's, a, he was a, a darling of the left, right? That's his biggest problem because you see that the left do hold people accountable, even that when they're on their fucking team. Yeah, 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 like you see what's happening. All of them are disappointed. They're like, "All right, fuck, like this is horrible and shit." Instead of just being like, "Oh, they're just attacking him because he's fucking this," you know, like I've I've not seen any arguments like that. Um, the only the biggest problem with I've seen is that the first girl that came out, she said that she had reached out to him multiple times to to hold him accountable. Which means that he must have been ignoring her, so he must know that what he did was He's fucking ignoring wrong. Her. She's he was like, fucking... "What you did was wrong." Shut up, bitch. It hangs so up the... on her. <laughs> so <laughs> the, up, the crazy up, thing is, if he would have like settled this shit behind the scenes, right, and been like, "I am profusely apologize if he actually shit. gave a shit." But shit never gets handled like, by the but, scenes. But, but, shit but, never gets handled by the scenes, bro. What you mean, bro? There's someone's look, gonna look, someone's <laughs> always snitching, bro. What are you talking about? I know. I know. Look, there's just too many of these. Is the thing. There's just yeah, there's so yeah. m- it, it's more than just this this one girl. This one girl was the first one that came forward, right? But there's You're so right. many. How many are we talking about? There's How many at are we talking least about? I feel like there were at least 
seven. I've seen two videos, two women. Jeez. I've seen them in videos, but the rest I've just seen like text messages. And, yeah, text like, messages. Like this one girl on TikTok, she was sharing like a bunch of stuff that she was just congregating with women. It it, it, it didn't it didn't get as big as like Cosby or anything, but you know he was stacking. Yeah, he, he and he, <laughs> he and, was stacking, and he wasn't and and he wasn't like putting them to sleep with drugs or anything. But it's it's yeah, yeah. it's still it, this is still like kind of one of those things where just a sex I, pest, I don't I guess just like that's weird. This is weird, pestering. man. It's just, it's strange because like I like that is not that is that is not good at all, right? At all, <laughs> at, this is yeah, not very good. But like very enlightening. <laughs> yeah, but it's like not good, dude. It's not like the most evil. It's just like it's but, cool because he it, it, the point because he didn't outright just like you know like say drug or throw him on the bed and forcefully it wasn't. That's why it's not like just one hundred percent people are just like fuck this guy kill him. I think that's why. That's the, I think that's the Jeez. only reason why. But there is. Well, yeah, I mean, but, we, but, you want to kill rapists. But I mean, the amount they, of they need to, the they, the number. For me, the thing is that right this right. My my first? belief is that oh. people people need that doesn't matter. People need to understand what they did wrong. Because if you understand what you did wrong, you'll punish yourself enough. I be- I, be- I firmly believe that. I, you will I, be the punisher of yourself. I, I, I punish myself every time I masturbate. Oh, God. I, I understand. You still doing that, bro? You still that Christian? You still- <laughs> look, look, look. I understand. Yeah, I flogged uh, myself. Yeah. I understand I what, what you're sound. talking about. So what? <laughs> However, the number of yeah. like the number of rapes that actually are like that. Like like brutal, like almost like like a fucking like the 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 fake scenario in everybody's head when they imagine it. It's very uh, low. It's, Law it's, and it's, Order it's like mo- like most of them are kind of the way this is, where it's it's kind of. No, like, you're absolutely right. So I do sound kind of ignorant. Yeah. So what, what, what I'm what, what I, I, I was don't saying know. before, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just it's definitely that not is good. the more real rapes, and that is very true. That is very true. It the is coercive, definitely not good, and I, um, I I stand by that. Yeah. I, don't know. Yeah, I just I, I I just can't it's, conceptualize this. This this is like a this is like just a, wait, look at the guy. <laughs> Sorry, good. I just that's the thing that's fucking me up. To be honest, I look at Andrew Callahan. I'm like, look at this fucking nerd. But if, he's like behind the scenes. He's like, nah, 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 nah. like he just like it just turns into a piece of shit. Like he looks like so innocent. That's the like, second the and, second and, and, the uh, camera the second the camera gets off him. He's a fucking Gears of War wretch. Just like fucking crab dancing <laughs> around. He doesn't walk. Fuck. He fucking jumps at people. He side. He sideways skips forward at people and just be like, "Please, can I fucking please fuck you? Can I fuck you, please?" And it's just like I can't. Stop. And he's he, Andrew dude, Callahan's here. <laughs> can I fuck Callahan. you, please? Can I fuck you? Let me fuck you, please. Let me fuck you. Fuck me. He no, finds leave him in, me alone. He finds him in that. Uh, he finds him in that fucking uh, tube with Maria. <laughs> Look, oh I am. <laughs> He's fucking. <laughs> come on, come on, baby, come on. Andrew He's Callahan's whispering in her ear when they find her. Oh on, man, baby, just just real quick, just real quick, and she's just like, dude, "Oh, Macy, dude, dude looks like can't say shit." Dude, dude looks That's like Napoleon Dynamite. I, I just don't know how this happened. Anyway, you, you there's not really much it. else to say about it. Uh, it's a uh, it's an unfortunate situation. Um, it's it's unfortunate, especially because his stuff is is good. Uh, so uh, I don't know what's gonna happen to him. He's probably he's probably gone because if if there's anything, um, if there's anything, maybe we'll find some. Oh, go ahead, sorry. No, I, I was just gonna say if there's anything that most people can't forgive, it's probably this. And this and, and I wouldn't say it's like as high as like being a pedophile necessarily, but like this is definitely up there where it's like you shouldn't be doing this. It's just under. Um, it's, it's just, just under. under. Absolutely, you're right. Uh, so definitely not good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, maybe he'll. Uh, maybe maybe we'll find out some worse shit about him. He goes to prison and then he starts the show like all gape, no breaks or something. Oh my god! And then he just he's just getting fucking pumped. All he's just getting gapes, pumped. no breaks. Oh, speaking of uh, speaking of uh, getting pumped. So Logan Paul fucked a pig. <laughs> so Logan Paul, I guess. Uh, he was fucking this pig for years, and uh, he just abandoned it. That's the sto- <laughs> that's the story. <laughs> uh, and uh, they some yeah, some yeah. some animal shelter found it, and they were just like, "They've got this is real." 
the, yeah. the pig the pig has an infection in, in its uterus or it had one <laughs> in its uterus. that was that and was true fact that was, as facts. That was uh near fatal when they found it but but the pig is rescued it's in it's in uh safe hands logan paul uh i guess I don't, there's some conflicting reports because there's it, he said something along the lines of like he gave it to a farmer because he couldn't have a pig in puerto rico and then that farmer gave it to somebody else and then that person abandoned it that could be true. It's just a problem with Logan Paul where nothing he says is even remotely trustworthy. So that's kind of like the problem here is that even right. if people were willing to right. give him the benefit of the doubt, it's just so unlikely to people that he's telling the truth <laughs> that it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so Logan Paul's sexually ravaged pig was just found in a fucking field somewhere. It's uh, just weird that there's all these sex fiends just popping up, man. Yeah, you got the Andrews, Andrew Tate's fucking been wilding, kidnapping women, forcing them to be uh, sex workers. You got Andrew Hall- Callahan with absolutely just all breaks, no consent. Um, oh, you just, breaks, like, hold, it, no hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All hold gas, it. no consent. I That's need that wild. pussy. Okay, all gas, no consent. <laughs> yeah, I try to, I try, breaks, I try to switch no it up a little consent. bit, but it, it just doesn't make sense with the breaks. So it's got to be all gas, no consent. Yeah. <laughs> all gas, no consent. <laughs> uh, now you have Logan Paul just just going ham on his pig, and then and then yeah, go, yeah. soon he he was literally. Um, f- this is actually what I heard. This is um, from one of his. You know that guy Mike that is his sex slave or whatever. That yeah, guy yeah. that he always uh, has on impulsive. Like he was. Uh, there's some text messages that got leaked by him, and it was saying like, "Yo, dude, this is kind of fu-. like I love, I love like Logan. He's my daddy, but it was kind of fucked up that on the way to the airport he was fucking the pig, and then he just kicked it out of the limo, <laughs> and then they went to Puerto Rico. That, that was really is, fucked up. Can <laughs> that sequence of events is wild." <laughs> You fuck a pig in a limo, kick it out when you're done and fly to Puerto Rico. That's fucking, that is such an insane series. <laughs> so, so for anybody who's following this, this is the, he didn't actually fuck a pig, although I've heard, you know, I, I, I've heard some rumors that that might be what happened. Um, the story is that yeah. they just found his, his pet pig, Pearl, abandoned, and uh, everybody's chewing Logan out for it because he's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! This version is so much better. Can you imagine getting fucked and then kicked I, out of a limo? That would be wild. That is, that you ever seen a bang bus? You've never seen a bang bus? No, before? but they don't. That is kick, what they do. They don't kick people <laughs> out of it on the highway when the second they're done. No, they're no, driving, they kick them out driving. in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I know it's fake and it's staged, but yeah. they literally just like get the fuck out, bitch. The, it's like, yo, what? they should. They should though. They should have a bang bus where they <laughs> kick people out the second they're done, no exceptions. So if you're on the highway, <laughs> that um, tough, tough <laughs> shit, you have to tuck and roll. Fucking veers the fuck over. I fucking fucking roll naked. If you're covered in cum, maybe you'll slide a little bit, so you won't fucking graze (laughs) against the ground as as hard. But maybe uh, it won't hurt as bad, bitch. Get out, yeah, dude. I like that idea too. Yeah, somebody yeah. should have pitched that in, uh, in the in the in the, the bang uh, bus with a rush extra show and the extra show. Oh yeah, yeah, we did an extra show. Uh, oh, by the way, welcome to the snark tank. (laughs) Welcome to the, we're not getting good at these intros. <laughs> we, welcome to the Stark Tank podcast. We uh we do some uh we're doing some extra episodes uh, lately. We do an ep- extra episode every week uh, exclusively for the patrons. One of our recent ones was uh you know we 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 wrote the entirety of Raimi Spider Man Four. Our most recent one was uh uh we we each pitched a television show. Uh. Uh, Derek pitched Gang Gang Theory, which is a a, a black <laughs> Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Kingston pitched Black Frankenstein, uh, and I pitched Chris Hansen eliminates a pedophile. There's a poll on uh, st- on the Snark Tank Patreon uh, right now to see which one of those shows gets picked up. So if you want to yeah. pop on over there, you can. <laughs> I hey, I hey. called it. I edited it to Franken nigga. 
you know, in parody for Frank and Weenie, you know, because Frank, Frank and, and Weenie, <laughs> Frank and <laughs> except Frank and Weenie's a dog <laughs> or nigga Stein. Yeah. Nigga, <laughs> nigga Stein actually flows way better. Nigga that's way, that's way better. Flows. That's way better. Yeah. Nigga Stein is such a disgusting that sounds hard as fuck, dude. Name. <laughs> It's like some... it's because of the Stein. I like the way I like the way words with, with the I E N. Yeah, the E I N sound man. is just fucking hilarious. Stein, nigga Stein. Stein. Like you gotta say it like nigga Stein. Like a German that, nigga good. of some sort. That's what I love it. I love the idea of like some 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 German guy that looks kind of like a, I know I know Arnold Schwarzenegger is Austrian, but still like he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he's just black. Like I like that <laughs> nigga Stein right there. What do you think? Um, so we. I, I, <clears throat> I don't know what is going on with this Matrix stuff. What is go- why are people talking about the Matrix? Ugh. What is this shit? What's They're up? making the Matrix. These pieces of shit are making. This has been the the conspiracy theorists' Matrix? problem. No, the cons- I'll, I'll tell you what's happening right now. The the conspiracy theorists have been ruining the Matrix for fucking j- since it's, the Matrix has been out. Uh, every they want to use every single fucking thing is some is the Matrix to them. Anything they don't like. Is the Matrix? Oh, they're they're the agents. They're this, and then they're oh they're actually now they've been pulled out of the Matrix, and now they're seeing Zion for the first time. They're all awakened, you know. They're it's all it's so fucking gay. So Andrew <laughs> um, Andrew Tate's doing it now. He's Logan doing Paul's, it. Logan and Paul saying, oh, is also and doing now it. Logan Paul said it too. He now said it recently, which that was the I was it was so disappointing. I couldn't even think of anything quippy to say. I was gonna yeah. quote tweet. And I was like, "This is too stupid." I, I just left it alone. It's just lame as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so like, predictable. I, it's so fucking predictable oh that this God. is that this is going to be it. the thing. This is going to be the thing now that like, if you're doing some fucked shit and you want, and if you're doing some fucked shady shit, this is the best way to garner support for yourself. Like, if you just be like, <laughs> "Oh, I'm being held accountable for my fucking illegal actions." Uh, it's the Matrix. Yeah, they're coming yeah. after me. They're they they're making an example out of me. Uh, and then suddenly you'll be flooded with people who are just like, yeah, they're fucking, they're uh, they're they're fucking so trying deep. to get you. It's the deep state. Can we, so can deep. We, I, I yes. have I have one thing I want to talk about. Sorry, yeah, that sucks. The Matrix Six sucks. Get held accountable should happen. Whatever. The image of that woman during the stand up thing where she passed the fuck out had me wailing. Be- <laughs> Chris tweeted this like in the middle of the night, like three days ago. It was some girl doing like a stand up and she ladies was like, I'm God's favorite. I know. Ha ha ha. And then she completely passes out and falls out on the stage. What makes it so funny is that when she passes out, the audience laughs at her. And because it's they thought so- was a part of the bit. <laughs> fucking funny. You, I mean, you yeah, are, they, they thought it was part wait, of the wait, bit, wait, I guess. Wait. How, how, how old are you, Kingston? <laughs> it is astounding that you're just discovering this exact genre of video. Like, it, because this has been around for no, a very no, no, There was a famous it's, it's comedian just, uh, who died on stage, and everybody just, like, thought she it was died? Part of, no, no, there was a, there's a famous, like, oh, I can't, that would have been funnier. There was a famous, um, there's a famous video of a, this comedic perform. I can't remember his name. I'm sure somebody in the, somebody in the audience knows, but, uh, he was like doing a show on stage and he like sits down and literally just dies and everybody just thinks it's part of the fucking bit. Uh, so they're just like <laughs> laughing. This is, this is the worst place to die is on stage at a comedy show for sure. Oh, uh, well, definitely but, top yeah, five. Yeah. But, uh, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The, the, yeah, the reason I retweeted that is because people were re- people were talking about it because it's like, look at what the vaccine is doing, and I was just like, fucking Jesus Christ! As that's people what's the, made that, it not that funny. Part's, well, that's, no, that's what made why it not funny but, to me. But, but that's why I can't find those videos funny anymore because it's like I used to love those. Like people just like passing out on stage. That shit's so funny. And then now it's like, look what the vaccine's doing. And it's like, bro, I remember I saw compilations of this shit in high school. Is the vaccine fucking temporal? Does it time travel backwards? You fucking, I, <laughs> the, I the can't thing, the stand thing is this, these right? people. The thing, the thing is this, right? They're, Those people so are much. dumb and that's ridiculous. No, but they're but dumb and abundant. Funny, they're, they're, they're dumb they're, and they're abundant. Not, they're, they're, yeah. They're dumb in abundance on a website. They're, no, they're no one in real life. This no, is not. Be like, millions vaccine. of people. No, there's Kingston. millions of people who refuse to get vaccinated because of this stupid bullshit. It's just well, then let them die. Fuck it, I don't care. It's not let even them die. Let them die. It's the fact that we didn't beat them. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, 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 go ahead. 
No, because I was just I was just getting angry. It was just like <laughs> we didn't beat the virus because these people were yeah, being told idiots. that they, it was they, scary. They... The vaccine's scary, even though vaccines are obviously not scary. You know, we beat. There's no smallpox anymore. Look, 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 when look, I was look. a kid, I had to play with my friends to get fucking smallpox and then and not get in as an adult. Now there's the people don't do that anymore. I'm like vaccines yeah. are fucking sweet. Look, the look, vaccine shit is ridiculous. I, I, I learned look, about look. it in like I remember. Yeah, go ahead. I I just want to say I I really don't care what you personally do. That's fine. Like if you don't want to get the vaccine, fucking whatever. Honestly, at this point, it doesn't matter. At this point, it no longer matters. Yeah. It's just it's at this point, it's just you that's going to be affected by that because the vaccine is available. I didn't get my boosters. Like I got two. I got the two vaccines, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna chance it. I don't. I don't really. I'm not really. I don't feel that threatened by it if I've already gotten vaccinated. I know there's like a shelf life on it, but like honestly, fucking whatever. You do. You do what you do. But this this weird self gaslighting that happens where it's like, oh, I see a video of some freak health accident happening on live TV or in sports, which have been happening for fucking so long and pretending like it never happened before. And it's all because of this new vaccine that, by the way, the sample size for which is so huge that any kind of correlation is just fucking completely irrelevant. It, it, it reminds me of people who are like, uh, who were like, uh, oh, video games are causing violence uh, because before video games, we didn't have any of this. And it's like, are you fucking crazy? Yeah. Are you stupid? You didn't have violence. You didn't have people shooting each other before video games. Wars. You, you, didn't didn't have, that's, you didn't have graphs, a black hand literally killing fucking graphs show you <laughs> Graphs show you that <laughs> violence has been on the decline yeah, steadily. It's, it, With it these is, little tiny little bumps of spikes, but overall steadily bro, declining. Bro, <laughs> yeah, there even, is no, even the spikes, even the spikes, even the spikes in violence when they're like, oh, look, violence is spiking up again. I think it was like mid-pandemic or like during the, during the riots and stuff like that. Ooh, there's a big spike in violence. It's... Even with the spike, it is like ninety percent lower than it was in like the seventies and eighties. Yes. So the like overall fucking graph. chill. Like I, I just I, I hate the, this I just hate idea, this mentality. The idea of people saying that like violence is on the rise in modern society is so fucking ridiculous isn't that hilarious there was a time where by nature like oh we're waking up we're gonna go into this other town we're going to kill all of them and then yeah. take the women and children and enslave them people are so stupid people it are is the so problem dumb. look it, it is the problem with the internet it's the internet is the fucking <laughs> problem so I, I understand how this happens because i was talking i was talking to uh, jojo the other day that you can convince these people this should be. You have to talk to them one on one. You have to. There's no way you can just like even there. Some fucking dummy that showed up in uh, when I shared that story under your post, Chris. I shared that story of that kid that uh, in our my middle school who was doing the half mile and fucking grabbed his chest and died. <laughs> and we're all like, "What the fuck?" And then uh, like <laughs> this shit happens. Funny. Like, I mean, <laughs> it, it was it was wild. It was just fucking because it's shocking. You know, because he wasn't some like morbidly obese or like some kid riddled with shit. He was just a regular guy with a little extra weight. Like I was yeah, probably yeah. just as big as him. Anyway, uh, so I, I shared that story and then I saw some fucking guy. I and some other people started arguing with him too. And I'm just like, why are these people? You have to talk to them in person because you can't. I don't know what else to do. You'll you'll show something like here is this. And then I, I always wonder what happens to their brain once they see a piece of evidence that's like, here is irrefutable empirical evidence, you know, to the contrary of what you just said. What is how does their brain interpret that? Because me, I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot, and I'm just like, oh shit, my bad. And then, then like, because I can't go anywhere else, I'm like, that's I your was mistake. Wrong. You, that's your mistake. You have to double down. You have to double down. <laughs> you don't let ignorance take control of you, bro. You don't let <laughs> ignorance wonder, take what arm do, you. You're just like, I, I can't lose know this. And you process. go super sane. I want to hear what's in their um, inside of them. What 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 is said? What gym to, What mental it's gymnastics? Really what is conjured impressive. up? Impressive. I think I think you're you're I think you're chalking it up to this higher knowledge of them just be uh, uh, something well, something magical that goes on in their mind. It's more of just They're like just a lack stupid. of stupid. I just like I under, I I I so don't understand it, and I want to. It's, I want it's, to understand how you can see something so fucking obvious, and then still like not. Like how like oh, like is it like I just want to say like is it 
that they do know, but then they're just pretending like they just, don't know. I, I, what happens I, is, I, I, don't, what happens I don't know is, how you, I don't know how you see so many of those videos from like 13 years ago, 15 years ago of like reporter has stroke live on TV and just like I I, I and just dude, pretend like that dude. just it doesn't count. <laughs> that because fucking you guys, guy, are, you guys are trying what, to apply what, logic to logical situations. But like, look at this guy. This guy, fuck it, look at. So this guy told this, me. Uh, sorry, I just gotta say this real quick. This guy told me like, oh, you should like read a study or something before you talk shit. And I was my brain short circuited because, you know, he he mentioned myocarditis, which is like, oh, the vaccine could increase myocarditis, and it's like, uh, yeah, it may increase myocarditis, but you know what increases myocarditis infinitely more? Getting COVID, like just getting the fucking virus. But you see, whoever the fuck he's listening to, never he guess he won't get that information, and it look, just upsets look. me so much that he's telling me to read studies, and I'm look. like, I actually have. Look, I actually Derek, have, Derek, Derek, sir. Derek, look, 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 look. I know. Let's, let's, let's make this to you, okay? It just. I, 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 like, um, like a little while ago, I brought this up. I made an argument making fun of Kyle Ritterhouse, right? And I made <laughs> a comment where what I was like. What did you call if, him? Uh, uh, I don't know. I called him. I probably. I probably did you call called him Rotorhouse? Huh? Did you call him, like, Rotorhouse or something? R- Rotorhouse. Or something. I, called, I, made, I called some name, right? Uh, written. 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 Rittenhouse. Written house. I, made, I said a comment where I was like, if he was black, that situation would have been very different. And people were like, no way, what are you talking about? And at that moment, I realized these people can't be arguing with anymore. It's 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 people just choosing to a view or form a form of reality of their own. It's perception at that moment. I guess. It's somebody, it's somebody would call it. I know we've talked about this before. We talked about Schadenfreude. So I guess it's kind of like uh, a little bit of. I brought that up no, to no, anyone sorry, not I knew that was sensible and they sorry, laughed. Dunning Kruger. The Dunning Kruger effect. That's what I think we mentioned that before. And I guess you can only chalk it up to that. That there's some people that are so sure of themselves, you can't really argue with them, even though they're obviously fucking wrong. It's yeah, it's it's just, insane. I brought that, start, I, especially everyone, on the internet. Well, yeah, well, how about it, we just start gaslighting people? Well, like, yeah, fuck yeah. It. How about let's we just, just let's just run wild? Yeah, let's just start like you know what? I actually want to start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I want to compile a video of all these people passing out from fucking the 90s and so on. And I'm going to say this is all after 2021. We, you, and <laughs> it'll, it'll yeah, get yeah. like fucking video evidence that says the year. And, the year put, that's put, not no, even no, coming no, up. It's like no, 1993. Put, 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 <laughs> put, put up a video of uh, JFK's head exploding and be like, this was right after he just got the vaccine. He, he just, just got, got the, the vaccine jam. and his head exploded. And it's like it made it might Ex- like w- at a certain point. Why wouldn't? Why would you not believe that? Like why would you? Explain why would you not believe Fauci. that? But uh, anyway, I don't know. I I love that. I actually love that a lot. I love that. We, we, we that would off. get to some. That, I mean, I like where it's going. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> where did yeah, we yeah. even? Where did we start with? Uh, I don't. I don't remember. Logan Who are we Paul talking about? His, we were talking about piggy. Logan Paul fucking his little pig. Is that um, you know, is that seriously how we got to yeah this well the matrix wow. I guess that's incredible because uh, I saw oh, the, the the matrix right okay ex- that's not too far off we're still talking about dumb ignorant fucking that's true political takes I guess if we matrix. Fucking, I love the matrix so much the movie I really like that movie and it just makes me so sad movie. to see what these people have done to it like it's pretty <laughs> simple what the matrix actually represents and them to just <laughs> It's just every. It's just everything now. Oh, it Logan is. Paul. Oh, basically, YouTubers are the Matrix now because that's who's calling out Logan Paul. The Matrix came for me or whatever. I I pray, I pray. And, oh, and also, I gotta say this. I'm pretty sure I figured out um, Logan Paul's new latest scam because. So somebody in uh, when he was doing that whole pig thing, his explanation with the pig story, or whatever, saying that he didn't fuck it or whatever. <laughs> um, he was uh. <laughs> Some guy said, like, wow, all this stuff started happening after you dissed Christianity. I don't think it's a coincidence. And then he said, uh, me either. And then he put out that Matrix thing saying that he prays, like, the Matrix is real. Pray you never oh, yeah, become yeah, his yeah. target. He's definitely so, going to so, be a so, born-again Christian, and he's going to sell merch. Born-again Christian is fucking coming. It is, it is coming. Absolutely. Th- th- he's going I don't to feel sell, like that's a coincidence, man. He's going to sell, logo- he's going to sell Jesus merch and shit, like, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, but bro, Christianity is crazy. They let anybody join, bro. Yeah, I mean, they let I mean that's the point. Join, that's the point. Let, that's it, the point. let everybody in. I mean, that's kind of the point. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta ass, pump those numbers up, man. I want to be terrible. Dude, how build, about we bro. be like the next Joel Osteen or um, who's the Kenneth Copeland, that evil guy? <laughs> how? I just want. Let me ask you guys a question. 
You've seen what Kenneth Copeland looks like. Uh, yeah. You've seen I a forgot. picture of this guy. The demon. Pull him up again. Yes, the demon. It's like a demon. Oh my up. god. How <laughs> can I like look at I look at you do if you want to be religious, God bless you. But don't worship that guy. That guy? The problem like, with uh, religion, right? I, I recently went with my girlfriend, right? I hope she doesn't listen to this episode. She's probably going to listen to It's going to be a whole conversation. It's going to open up from this, right? <laughs> Timestamp, 48 but, like, minutes. we went... Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but we went to... um, We went to her for her every New Year. She goes and she lights candles for some, for some Catholic shit, right? And some fucking stupid ass, obvious cult shit. But I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> but I'm just like there. And I'm Shoving like... The- Shove the candles up the kid's ass and light I'm them. I'm like, this, you're lighting candles, you're giving it to some random bitch that got pregnant by the wind, and then you're praying to some fucking, some white nigga from the Middle East that is clearly not white. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's, so it's I hate it because, like, it, it whatever funny. whatever gives you power to go on, you know, I understand. My grandma's religious as well, you know? My grandmother is also a very scientific woman, so her brain, she has, she has a dichotomy where... Where she she can understand no no it's cognitive dissonance but she understands that she takes it on faith and she'll have conversations about it but she'll always at the end of the day be like it's up to you to be a better person and that's it you know you'll find salvation in you doing better in your own life and I respect that I respect that about her right but these motherfuckers go to this fucking dark ass fucking fucking place filled with where you're worshiping a Jewish man that just got abused to death. And like it's just so the it's thing, obviously the cult thing, the thing shit. It's sure, so sure. obviously a cult. Well, religions are that. And if but you like, bring that up to them, they freak out. But the the thing that's weird, the, the, honestly, like I, I grew up Catholic, and the weirdest thing to me, beyond everything, because I actually thought like the architecture was cool. Like I always thought, like, oh man, it was sure. It, well, I course. wish I wish we were doing everything but what we were doing in this church, because what a cool building. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. Uh, the thing that was always weird to me was was the idea that you would, like, you're worshipping this guy, but you're also kind of like, I don't know, it, it would be like, if you had a religion worshipping Kim Kardashian, but you had your international, your symbol was just a freeze frame of her sex tape. It's just, yeah, it's not the, that's not yeah, the best think, moment would... of it, Jesus' life. Uh, <laughs> think, I don't well, know how well, the crucifix is... <laughs> It's the, it's, the moment like that encapsulates, huh? it's the moment that encapsulates his purpose and his most devout, you know, like him sacrificing himself for us. Right. That is the moment that's that what he I did said. it. That's, yeah, exactly. That's, but I, like, mean, that's, I mean, that's how is Kim Kardashian? Moment. I think that's no, but how, best no, 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 no. But what I mean is like, it, how is Kim Kardashian sex tape? Not that equivalent is what I mean. Like that is literally, is it? That is literally that is literally the foundation for which she, ex- she exists. Yeah, put her on the map. That is literally yeah. the main reason why she is as well known as she is uh yeah, damn, and so Ray, and so to me, to me i don't know if yeah. i was if uh, i him. was being uh, worshipped as a god which has not happened yet um we're getting there that's we're getting crazy there. if you if you become worshipped as a god then th- that bar is gone that bar has been <laughs> gone for a while. It, it, i i guarantee <laughs> i guarantee you all of us with the the small amount of followings we have overall Compared to like you know the the type of reach that major celebrities have, we can easily pull a hundred people to get us to do whatever we want. Oh yeah, together it, we, we could, yeah it's we fucked could have, up. It's we fucked could, up. But we it, could it's true. we Crazy. could rent we could rent like an island or something and get like a hundred like at least the eighty. Idea, pe- the I think idea, at least eighty people yeah. would show up and and yeah. Uh, yeah. I would go I would go dark quick if I gain the power to tell somebody to end them lies and they'll do it. I would See? go dark fast. I'd be like, well, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going full sale now. I'm sorry, y'all gotta put nah. me down. <laughs> See, I want to do. <laughs> like, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, yeah, that's the whole point, though. But look, I just want to go back. Like, look, it's all of that shit's wacky. We all get it. We all know it. I know a lot of these people get mad when you say this shit, but they should be growing up enough to be able to. Like, I talked to a guy from um, he was from uh, Syracuse, and he was grown up enough to know how dumb all the shit that he was. Yeah, respect is. it. Yeah, he like he 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 was like, I, yeah, I know this shit sounds dumb as hell, and God's a, an asshole. He's like, he's a god. He's like, what god in mythology was all like, oh, I'm all loving and I'm the everything's great. No, they're all wrathful and vengeful, like the worst, like the basically inflated egos of people, essentially. Yeah, they're the like, worst aspects of humans, literally. So he was like, so why would you even think that uh, God of the Bible? Why would you think Yahweh is supposed to be this benevolent guy? Like when you're supposed to fear him? And I'm like, I was like, I. 
I like you for just understanding how dumb and how evil your God is, and you're still fucking with that shit. God bless you. Um, but I just say, uh, Kenneth Copeland is literally looks like a demon. That's my whole point. Like, don't worship that. Don't follow that guy. The guy that looks like a he he's him, and then Pope Benedict, who you know shuffled around a lot of pedophiles, who is an actual evil person, a uh, um, and a former Nazi. Um, <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It looked like Darth Sidious, <laughs> and I'm just like the fact that he's a former is Nazi worship, is crazy. Worship to someone me. I found worth that worshiping. Like three years ago, worship and I was someone, like, "What?" No, wor- worship somebody like Jared Leto. You know, all he's doing yeah, is yeah, he's yeah. just being. He's just in bad movies. He he's has his own pussy, little cult. Bro. He has his cult on an island. Go join that thing. Um, he's just but, getting uh, pussy, bro. He's just he's just <laughs> yeah. grinding his way through all that twat yeah, on that oh, island, oh, bro. And I respect it. And you think how come nobody's worshiping? Sir Andrew Callahan felt the same way. <laughs> Sir Andrew Callahan. Oh fuck! You think he's just gonna go to like uh, uh, England and hang out with Prince uh, King Charles, get united, and just they're just gonna start assaulting women together, make a little bro. movie? That's his next arc. I've yeah. been trying to know, get knighted uh, for years. If there's possible, bro, I'm down. Dude, I, I want to get knighted. I actually would love to get knighted, and so people have to call me Sir. You call <laughs> I just want to shit out. I of just. You. I just want to <laughs> somehow have the chance to see if I can pick up Excalibur, wherever it is. And I feel like being knighted is the best way. Like it's a track <laughs> on its way there, you know. I Excalibur, because I know, I know in my heart, I know, I know, you know that sword is mine. You know, you know Excalibur exists. I yeah. know it's mine, bro. You're not, you I don't, know you don't, it's mine. You're not getting Excalibur, man. You're I, not getting Excalibur. I, know, I, I will Sweetie, put money. Sweetie, where I is put, Excalibur? I don't know, somewhere in either France or the the UK. No, I know. One of those two places. I know where Excalibur is. Where is it? Excalibur is, uh, it's gone because it was in that, uh, it was in that new Puss in Boots movie and it's, it's, it didn't serve. It's, it wasn't very good. Nah, bro. It's there. I know. I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go there and it's going to be a fucking open ass field and it's going to be a nice little beam of light right on the sword. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm gonna just get it and I'm gonna yell the end. That's not how Excalibur works. I possibly can. That's not and how I'm Excalibur go, works. I'm gonna put my hands on it. There's a sword in the stone. Yes, it is. Not according to Puss in Boots. I feel like. <laughs> so what, what's going on with Puss in Boots? So they made yo, uh, yo, for it, real. So is it out or what? What, what is what that, I don't that know movie? Mm-hmm. Pussy, puss. Yeah, the Pussy in Boots. Can I tell Apparently you something? It's amazing. Can I tell you something? That movie yeah. is unironically yeah. fucking fantastic, and I can't believe it. I'm still kind of reeling from it. I don't understand. Is Antonio Banderas in it? Yeah, the last one it's... was good too. No, no, no. This is this one well, is. One, they've been they've been both been good movies. No, no, no. You don't you don't understand. This is like I was watching it because it was just like I, I think I had like I saw something that people Puss were talking about, it and they were like, "Hey, it's pretty good." And then I saw the, like <laughs> it was out on digital, and I had like. Fifty dollars in like Microsoft money that was, I guess, just sitting on my Xbox that I had no idea about, and I was like, "Oh, fuck it, whatever. I'll just buy this movie and watch it." And the whole time, I was just mm. shocked that it was as good. It's like Spider Verse fucking level. Like, why is this this good? It might be better, <laughs> and I can't fucking believe I'm saying that about fuck a fucking pussy. Like, this movie might be better than Spider Man Two. Like, sincerely, like, and that's me saying that, and I just <laughs> I can't I can't reconcile that. Kind of makes me upset. My, my question, my question is that, like, I guess you probably haven't seen the last one. The last one's a very good movie. No, I understand that the last one was kind of good. I, I get that. No, no, no. Kind of. It was a very good movie. It was no. very good. No, you don't get it. Even if that movie, even if that first pussy, I didn't, I didn't see that movie. I'll be, I'll be real. But even if that first movie was great. <laughs> This is like unanimously like one of probably the best animated movies of the of the two thousands forward going forward. It I is feel like, like on, I'm being gassed. It is, I I know I because like I felt that up. way too. I felt that way too, and I just it, it's fucking great. It's insane. Okay, I'm gonna watch it, and if I don't I'm watch it tonight, if, I'm if, watch if I don't feel that tonight. way, I'm I'm gonna be very upset and be like, you owe me like I don't know two hours of worth of something. It's oh, good, man. <laughs> you gonna get his dick sucked, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yes. and whenever, whenever you don't, whenever you don't exactly say what it is, it's fucking filleting. I, 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 I wasn't thinking it. about that, but hey, I, I'm I'm on board. 
Yeah, that's, be that's some a good shit. I don't know. We'll figure it that's out. That's a good conversation. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll, 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 we'll iron, we'll iron so out the details. Whenever someone says that to someone else, <laughs> yeah, we'll fucking, we'll, don't, don't worry. We'll talk about it later. Just go fucking, go ahead. Go get the fucking, go get this burger with the fucking money I gave you. We'll figure I it just, out later. No, really? Push, okay. All right. No, it's, I don't the last you, one was very good. And this one apparently is, my niece was like, oh, it's amazing. And I was like, I have, yeah, I have but, faith in you. You have, issue, you, you're like movies. But the issue. I just don't even know how it's amazing. It doesn't make any sense to me. The, yeah, it's. I, it's a fucking cat with the with boots. It's just really. Like I I don't think there's a single flaw with it, which is crazy. Like I, I just like I was looking. I was like, because at a certain point I was like, this can't be as good as I think it is. There's got to be something fucking wrong. And I finished it. and I was like, why? Like what? Like why did they do this with Puss in Boots? What a fucking bizarre. Like I understand Spider Man. Having like a Spider Verse kind of film, I understand that because what an iconic character, you know, like what a what a fucking symbol of like the creativity of 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 just like art and fucking action and 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 story to, like what a fucking gr- perfect character to do that with. And then there's the Spanish cat from Shrek. Yeah, what the fuck? Dude, that's exactly that's like I don't. Have I don't feel anything for that. I I feel more. I have more emotion towards Pussy and Tim's. You know what I mean. The last one came like, out eleven years ago, which is crazy. Yeah, is it actually Antonio Banderas or is it? Yeah, just it is. Him. It's, like him. it's, it's Antonio cool. Banderas. Cool. It's it's really fun. Everybody listening, what the fuck is he give been it a shot. up to? He's just been doing this, I guess. Uh, <laughs> he just prepping for this. This is my life's greatest work. Oh God! What a frustrating. I, I'm fucking. I'm. I'm. Yeah, I mean, check it out. It let me know. So let me know. Me, let me know what you think of it because I, I, I'm. I, I watched really, it, watch it tonight on my roommates because I am really curious uh, as to how this is. I mean, it's already doing really well because it's getting like really insane positive word of mouth. That's the only reason I even gave it a shot because it's just like, what? What are people talking about? Um, and usually that's a that, usually that's a setup for disappointment. It's kind of like when somebody goes like, all right. It's almost like you're doing stand up and then, uh, you know, the person, uh, on stage before you goes, and now for one of the funniest people ever. And it's just like, ah, oh, you just set the expectations now are so fucking high that you've turned the crowd against them. Even with that, like, level of just like, all right, let's see, like, what the fuck this movie's got. Let's see what this shit is. Fucking puss in boots. I didn't even bother with the first one because, like, why would I even bother? And then I was like, this is, bad, probably, this is probably the best movie that came out last year. Just fucked. I didn't even... Puss in Boots, even, it came out last year? Yeah, I think so. I, um, I think know. it was Christmas. Last Wish? Yeah. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Yeah. What's the What's the, What's the the Rotten mean, Tomatoes on it? Probably like 98. Google's purple, uh, 96. 96 for critics and 93 for audience. Outst- That's hilarious! It's 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 <laughs> oh he's honest. old as shit too. What the hell? <laughs> well, Antonio yeah. Banderas, he's not young. Well, no, I'm just well. Still, I'm just looking at the cat. He has a fucking gray beard and shit. Oh yeah, yeah he's not young anymore. Cute. That's cute. It's 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 a good movie, dude. Have you do you know? You, we all know Salma Hayek is right. That's his yeah, wife. Of his, his ex wife. Right now, it's his ex wife or his current wife. I think it's ex wife. What are you talking about, I Antonio Banderas? Yeah, that, I think it's his ex wife. Well, she's in the mistaken. movie. I I have no idea. Um, you, you think he would divorce those tits? <sighs> He's Antonio Banderas. That's how, you know, shit happens. What an idiot! That, that, that's I don't true. know, man. That's that voice, true. that voice, man. That's yeah. very true. Like, I, yeah, that, that he's can, got. Yeah, that's like he true. he has an objectively <laughs> nice voice. Like it, it's it's infuriating. He can, he can probably he can talk me. He can Andrew, he can Andrew Callahan me for sure. Absolutely. Well, for like, sure. For sure, hey, it would even be hard. I'd be hey, I'd be pushing even, more than he would probably. Because first, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, uh, Ew, like, no, who is Salma ha- Hayek to married to? Who is this fucking guy? Did you see this? It, you used, see to be, it used to be what you call it. it used Do you to see be, Salma uh, Hayek's current husband? Me. Do you see Salma Hayek's Ew, current husband? Don't tell this, me. Oh my fucking oh god! Oh my god! He looks, he looks like the guy from the Incredible Hulk movie, the first one. No, the first MCU he looks one. like he looks like a melted. He looks like Wish version of Daniel Craig. He oh does. He does. <laughs> he looks like if Daniel Craig like, was made of really soft clay and was like kind of bouncing around in a in a backpack for fucking nine years, and then you just ripped him out. <laughs> he's like, "This is what he looks like, right?" I was like, "Yeah, I mean, I guess." 
Dang, bro. Who he is this the, rich asshole? Come on. He Franc- married those areolas, Francois bro. Francois Herney Pin. He's some French piece of shit. I wonder who he is, though. Let's this see. guy looks significantly older Ooh. than my dad. My dad is, like, in his 70s. How the Man, f- look at this. Who is this guy? I'm he sure he's a, he's an entrepreneur bro. that owns everything. I'm sure he owns everything. Francois Henry Penault. I don't know. He's the CEO and chairman of a French lux- luxury group, Caring. President of Group Atlas. Or, or um, oh, home to brands such as Gucci. Oh, this guy is loaded. Oh, my God. Gucci, he owns Gucci. Saint Laurent, Balenciaga. Dude, this guy is loaded. Because his parent crazy. company is carrying an oh, and holy shit. Uh, so I understand why she's with him. Holy <laughs> shit, man's so, worth. Yeah. Oh my god, he's worth two. He's what? He's one of those ones like say he's like real wealth where he doesn't end up on those lists. Like everyone talks about like Elon Musk and Jeffrey. Ba- and That's like then the there's, ancient then there's money motherfuckers, motherfuckers are, bro. There's some motherfuckers that are just. Because the fashion industry makes just an absurd amount of money. That guy's just chilling. Maybe the they thing don't about just, the fashion they don't industry. Count it it, made, he has it, makes, I don't know. it makes so much money. It makes so much money that they. It makes so much money that there's weeks where they spend millions just to show off shit they think is cool. Yeah, right. like Fashion Week in Paris is obscene like i was in new york when they were doing getting it ready for the met gala and they had sections of the met the most famous museum in america completely just shut off you can't go in there right now oh sure it's turning into a fucking ballroom it's insane the money they spent like i think chadwick boseman the year he went there after black panther he had on an outfit that was worth like four million dollars that's an <laughs> outfit bro that is unbelievable that shit pisses me off so much hearing that shit. <laughs> if you spill anything on that if you spill anything on that outfit <laughs> that's the whole thing where it's like you can't even be human wearing this wor- shit. no it's, it's probably so not stupid. even worthless it's probably still worth a couple houses Right, Even yeah, with no. stains on it, there's some insane people that would buy that shit. Like it's the auction on, off or whatever. Dude, Absolutely. fashion isn't. It's just nut. It's so nuts that it's single handedly kept. It it just I hate keeps it. people invested. Guys, have you seen those? Uh, I, <laughs> I I looked at the pants. They're about nine hundred bucks to twelve hundred dollars. It was uh these dudes. It almost looked like almost something that would be in Willy Wonka. And there's like the pants are like inflated at the bottom. Did you ever see that? <laughs> I I uh, I let me let me see if I can just pull it up really fast just to show you on like my webcam. Like parachute pants. It's 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 like it's like it's um it's very hard to explain because of how fucking absurd it is. Like right like right now in my room, right? I have a pair of sneakers. So for Christmas, Lily bought me a pair of retro ones. If anyone doesn't know, those are one of the retro pairs of Jordans when they were still under Nike. Lily bought me a pair of those. Those sneakers right now resell value are a couple thousand dollars. I don't want to sell them. It was given to me as a gift, but I'm probably just never going to wear them now. Yeah, I just, I'm not. And they're, a, just yeah. in, they're just under. They're just under, they're under my bed now. There, like, there I'm, like, certain, I'm not going to wear look, these. There, there, there are certain like, things. What do I do I, with this? There are certain <laughs> things where I don't understand excessive money being put into them. And I, and I feel like yeah. clothes and cars are the two biggest things to me because those are the two of the biggest things that are just universally like the second you put on a pair of clothes, you are you are putting it through some semblance of damage. Like that's like the whole purpose of them almost in some ways, just kind of like to shield you from the outside world. And so it's it, your clothes will deteriorate over time. Your car is a speeding piece of metal surrounded by other speeding pieces of metal only safe b- because of the baseline level of competence of you and people around you that those <laughs> pants look stupid as hell that's infuriating dude that make that makes that makes the wearer look more silly like this I look at it, th- look how look how miserable this dude is <laughs> look, he's, he's that guy killed himself face. later that they day inflate that's I mean, insane. they just—that's just how they stand, man. I like this. I like, uh, I've always liked this too. It's just—it just, it just happens to be side by. <laughs> Look, it's I—I uh, I don't know. 
But yeah, I, those pants. If anybody, uh, if <laughs> I what's think the most? Like what's the most? Bucks last time I checked. Nine hundred fucking. What is? Yeah. If someone wants to most, Venmo me that, uh, I'll buy them. I what's the most three. expensive article of clothing you own? Oh, that's actually that a good I question. paid for or that I own. That you that you paid for a gift doesn't count okay, because I gifts bought, are like you know I, what I bought like three hundred four hundred dollars shoes before shoes. I, um, yeah, I bought baby napes when they were brand new. Like when they first came out, I bought a pair of baby napes. I wore them two times throughout the school year, and then the next year my feet grew two sizes. So by the time summer was over, I couldn't fit in them. That sucks. And that's, that's sucks. when I stopped. And that's when I stopped. That's when I was like, I don't care anymore. No more than hundred twenty dollars for shoes for me. Um, I'm think I think I got a my shoes, but they were only a little bit over hundred dollars. There were these uh Project Rock. Uh, when Rock partnered, the Rock partnered with the Under Armour. He had these shoes that mm, were I remember those. pretty good for um, like say, uh, they're like flat tops, so they're good for weight training essentially. Yeah, they're uh, they're very like flat shoes, and that's it. I I I I'm so against spending a lot of money. I'm usually like I'm going to H and M before that. It was fucking Coles when I was a kid. Yeah. Um. Yeah. H and M and Coles are I fucking. I I still. If there was a Coles around here, I, I would definitely be going there. But uh, I used to, I used to really care because obviously being a young black man growing up in like Anderson City, uh, that's like a huge part of the culture. Like it's like, dr- it like is. the way you dress is important. If you're, you're Hispanic, you know. Well, you're, you're, I, you know that shit I, as well. I, it's a, I, I know it because I was around it a lot, but I didn't understand it personally because I personally didn't give a shit. Like I, I, I did not so, like, understand the idea that of of having nice shoes because I just did. Like to me, shoes were just something that I had to to wear to protect my feet from the outside. It was never like a oh, style. It, it, it's true. It was never like a style yeah. thing ever. Well, I, I think it also that uh, I think that honestly comes from Catholic school as well because we just had until I think maybe seven. Seventh grade was the first year of school where I had to actually think about how to dress because I had always just Ooh. worn a uniform. It was always the khaki. Uniform, yeah. It was it was always oh, the, the the black slacks and like whatever. I think it was like a pale yellow polo for Catholic school every single day, except for like random casual Fridays, in which case it would just be like jeans and a T-shirt and it just wouldn't be anything fucking crazy um, or like sweatpants when I was younger. But I, like, I get it. It makes sense, dude. That shit. There's no reason to be paying that much for your clothes. Like I like I look back on it now and like I still wear like I still wear brands. Like I still wear like I often wear Nike's or Adidas or like, you know, like very rarely I wear a pair of Jordans, you know, something like that. But I I'm not putting that kind of money into my clothes anymore. I'm just not. Yeah. Like I have this shirt. This is a very expensive shirt. This shirt was like maybe like thirty five dollars for the shirt itself. And I literally have a bleach stain on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're wearing tear, man. up and I'm like, got a bleach stain on. The, like, it just happened. Only, That's the, close. The only, I think the mostly, I think I might have spent 300 and some odd dollars on a suit once. Uh, and That's I remember, reasonable. it is, yeah, yeah I, I, I did grow out of it. I still have the blazer, though, because I love, stupid. I love that fucking blazer. Um, and I still wear that blazer still. But yeah, I kept it. I don't know where the other parts of the suit are. They're fucking gone. But, that's probably the most expensive. I think I might have. No, yeah, that is still to this day. Everything yeah, else, I'm just completely like, I don't know. reasonable to spend. I'll buy like uh, a nice a jacket. Bucks on a suit. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy every now and again, like every few years, I'll see a jacket that I'm like, I want that, and if it's like below that, mm. I'll I'll pick it up. It has to be really fun. Like it's got to be a nice ass p- piece of clothing for me to even remotely it's gotta, consider. It's for, for me, for me, I'm I, I will spend upwards of like. I will spend for a pair, uh, for a shirt, I'll spend like maybe $40 at most for one shirt. Oh. At most. Actually. um, For like a pair of pants, not- like maybe like thir- like yeah. 60 because I, I wear Levi's. <laughs> what do you say? No, no, no. Because I just remembered like I did pay, I, I paid like $500 for a custom Actually. Fallout vault suit. Ah. I remember but then, that. See, <laughs> uh, no, see, that's also justified it's as well. Like it's, it's. That's like yeah. a, yeah, it's a proper like, but I don't know. I never, I never got into the shoe like, culture. Always know, like, freaked yeah. me out. The shoe culture weirded me out when I was a kid. I just did not because there were kids I just in my felt Catholic school. Bad for people. Yeah, <laughs> they're spending all their fucking money on shoes, man. I felt bad about that shit. I, I'm like, bro, I saw kids having so much more fun. Sell them. 
No, I understand that, but huh? I saw a kid wearing like these really expensive shoes in in like I think fourth grade or something. He was like this kind of like uh, he was a sports kid, and he like really like, oh man, I fucking look at these fucking sick shoes. And I was like, I don't, I I I, I, I don't, I couldn't even pretend to care. I was like, cool, man. Like I'm glad you're happy, but I I don't I don't care about this. He's like, uh, and then and, basketball and, sneakers. Oh my god, they were always then, expensive. And no, and then at lunch he spilled something on him, and he broke down <laughs> crying. He like he yep. cried in the cafeteria. Yep. He was crying, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Yep. I wipe my hands on my shoes sometimes. At that point, that's at that crazy. Because <laughs> I was like, "I can't, I can't, get, I can't get them on my pants. I gotta get, I gotta use my shoes." Because people expect that's my shoes you gotta to be get dirty. A pair. You gotta get a my pair. Mom. There's, there's my certain mom pair of shoes you gotta get right. These are these are the shoes you gotta get right. Well, no, right. I don't, okay, let me hear this. Let me hear this. You gotta get a pair of Converse's, right? Simple Converse's. Of course, you gotta have Chucks. You gotta have a pair of you have a simple pair of uh, Adidas All Stars. Simple pair All Star Adidas. You know, for me, I'm a I'm a big fan of the Roshis. They're the running stickers for Nikes. Super comfortable. Love them. Big fan of those. And you have to have a pair of Air Forces. That's it. <laughs> Either black or white. That's it. You I have, have to get more pairs. shoes. I, I only realized those until, are all you need. I realized when I started going to the gym that I only have two pairs of shoes. Uh, really? Yeah, there's, I I have I have uh, I have multiple pairs of gym shoes for that very reason, and I just found a, a company on Amazon. They're called Within, and they're like because I I was doing more kickboxing and I wanted to wear. I didn't want to take my shoes off because it wasn't that type of gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, where you you don't want to you you know you want to put your feet on the ground. It wasn't like you know oh this is a gym where everybody cleans the floor and all the shit blah blah blah. But so I found these very thin shoes that a lot of people like to run so they can feel their foot better on the ground. Mm. And like the best shoes I own now, I just sometimes even I'm gonna buy another pair just to casually wear out because they're also I have a fat fucking foot. But they're very wide. So and these <laughs> like most shoes are not wide. Yeah, that's the thing. Like uh, Chucks are my default shoes, but Chucks are the fucking slimmest the most narrow shoes they make they are yeah so my feet look funny in them kind of like it's it's like it's it's like an offset it's it's weird anyway uh, uh, um did we dude did, fucking i want to we're being up forever again do we ever talk about the fact that that jeremy renner ran himself over with a fucking like a, a, a snow tank oh is that what happened he ran himself over well he like i heard I he guess, got into like an accident or something he, so he was like I in he got the, hurt he, you didn't see what happened. So, did you see the thing that he was driving? No. So he no, he ha- I didn't see it's, it all. It's this fuck. It looks like a Gears of War vehicle. It, it's like this thing. <laughs> it's like this red like <laughs> chassis with like tank treads, and it's like the the pyramid kind of tank treads. You know where it's like triangular and it kind of like it's not like a yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I guess like there was like some malfunction where like he he left it alone to 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 go and do something, and then it came after him. <laughs> like it, it rolled down the hill. <laughs> it rolled down the, it, it rolled down the hill and him. like ran over his chest and legs. So he's just <laughs> holy yeah, so shit. He just, so he's just been in the hospital. He's he's fine, by the way, which is why I'm I'm laughing. But oh, I hope this is this is weeks ago that this happened. So uh, and he there's videos of him in the hospital being like, yo, I fu- I got fucked up, but. The thing that he was driving <laughs> looks so fucking funny because it's just like, why do you have that? Snow he's a fucking snow, manly man. Yeah, Jeremy Renner snow plow. I wonder if there's like a Google image. Uh, Probably. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's it's, it's like one of the, it's one of the first Should things you see. Mr. Plow. If if you Google Jeremy plow, Renner like snow plow, tank? if you look up Jeremy Renner snow plow, you'll see it. It's just such a confusing fucking vehicle. Like, what is he doing with this? Like what is Hawkeye? What is Jeremy Renner doing? I He's mean, living his best is, life, man. See, Mister. Oh wait, oops. Uh, Jeremy Renner. It is a confusing looking. I've never seen this thing. My evil eye. I just killed Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> stupid! <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, the killers, man. I missed. I missed the killers. <laughs> what is he? Uh, how big is his fucking property? Really? Start That's what I'm saying. Dick. How could I have a fucking dick? How could That's I suck dick? All right, all right, all right. Let's move on to questions, I guess. Since since it comes on, dementia is setting now. 
and um, he's busting in his face. Someone <laughs> help my eagle eye. I'm Mr. Gay side. I'm Mr. Gay guy. I'm Mr. Gay guy. Uh, oh we're gonna get a couple God. of messages. Well, let's get you some questions. Do this one now. Let's get some questions. Let's get some questions. Oh, we want to blow me. That was doing just void. Hey, have you guys heard of Jeremy Renner? Is that? <laughs> have you guys heard of Jeremy? Renner? Have you guys heard of him? <laughs> yeah. uh, doesn't he have an app or something? Wasn't that like a weird thing? He a had an years app, ago? yeah. What? Like a, Wait, I don't know anything about app, him. Yeah. What he are we like, talking about? He had like a Jeremy. I remember this because people were making fun of it a, a couple of years ago because it was just a Jeremy Renner app dedicated to updating you on the status of Jeremy Renner. And that was oh all it was. God. It was just like his. It was like a blog or something, and it was an app that Do you people download. actually care about this guy. <laughs> he was the, he was like the least like he yeah. was like you, you ever play you play Mass Effect two and then there's Jacob Taylor and you're like oh man this guy like you are oh, so man. fucking boring <laughs> holy shit like they it gave is, him oh, no personality man. Shut it is up, Jacob. it is <laughs> it is really unfortunate that Jacob is as boring as he is like. It, it's like so they didn't have sad. to do that. They didn't have to do you that. Know what's crazy. Didn't... The funny part is that with Jacob as a black man, his 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 secret mission is finding his dad. <laughs> that shit killed me when I realized that. I was like, Weird. "What?" <laughs> I never considered that. Actually, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "I never considered that." That's that's, so funny. that's all. That's Yo, all. they slipped that one under the radar. That was that was dope, fucking. Dude. That's I, I gotta congratulate them for doing that. I that, I gotta that, 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 for that underhanded racism. <laughs> that makes me like his Good character audio, a lot more. Mate. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, but uh, all right, let's. He was kind of boring, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Joe all Jeremy right. Renner, his Hawkeye. That shit sucked. <laughs> all right, let's go. I liked it, but it was fine. It was like, oh, this is fine. You're n- never mind. <laughs> no more questions. There's there, never going to be a question again. <laughs> Go ahead. You just got. You just got to force it, man. Oh, we want you blow it. me. Hey, boys. What's what has uh, been the biggest? What is? Wait. Oh no. This this sucks. Obi, you got to get better at this. We're we're oh, actually. We, no, no, I think we read this before. Oh, did we? God damn it! Is this like an old? I was gonna say elderly. Is this an elderly fucking thing? Same thing. Okay, so this oh, is a more. This is a, this is a more Bry modern guy. one. Obi, want you blow me. Hey, boys. What is the biggest slight or disrespect done to you in your life? Before a, before graduation, a teacher asked me to resubmit my information for the yearbook, and they never got around to processing it, so I'm the only person in my yearbook without a photo or a quote. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> That's, Get fu- That's a skill issue um, at that point. I don't really know. I don't really biggest like disrespect. I disrespect. I, see, oh, I the- know. Oh, you have one? Oh, go ahead. No, because I was going to say, yeah, like, I, yeah. I, I don't. A lot of people hold on to things. Yeah, I and I the same don't. Thing, literally, and I don't really like. I don't know if if it's got to be really fucking insane for me to hold on to it. Like you got to like kill my dog and then show it to me while you <laughs> fuck it or something. You know, like that's 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 the kind of disrespect that I'll probably carry with. Me. But like I don't know, I, things will bother what me for like, a, was like a water day. under the bridge. Yeah, most things are to the point where I just don't really remember a lot of these. I'm sure there are a lot of them, but like I don't. I can't you gotta like care. outwardly do shit that I don't like for me to be like I because I just don't. I don't give. I just so I'm so apathetic to people for to bullshit. It was like whatever, man. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you this one. So this this one like it, it is totally water on the bridge, but it was still extremely disrespectful, kind of funny. Like you know, in retrospect, uh, I was in a band. I was in a, a, a metal band, and uh, uh, the main guy, the guy that put the band together, Brandon, he. Uh, I remember one time we were all hanging out and he brought over his ex-girlfriend. They were not dating anymore. They were just friends, whatever. It was, it was whatever. And her and I, we started chatting about, because I was just like, I was I was probably at my fattest. I was like 18 or 19. And I was like, fuck, I need to start running. She's like, oh, fuck, me too. And I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah. We started talking about running, but this was on, we continued the conversation on MySpace, public MySpace where the comments, everybody can see it. So there's no fucking shadiness, not going behind the back of anybody. It was just like, we were talking about actually potentially, oh, we should go running the track or some shit like that. He took that as I'm trying to bang his ex-girlfriend. First of all, like, it's not your property. Like, So even if I was like, who gives a shit? But it was like, oh, I'm talking about running. But he was just like, oh, he's trying to get with my girl. And then I woke up to a, a voice message from my friend Augie, like, "Yo, check your check your band's MySpace page because our band was popping at the time." 
And I was like, what? And there's a bulletin and it said, Derek is no longer in the band. Fuck that fag. That was the headline. Oh <laughs> and I was God. like, well, I was like, wait, what? And I read it and then it was just blasting me. So then I met up with them and I was fucking dumbfounded. I was like, yo, you guys let Brandon just do this and you guys just agreed with it. And then, you know, after talking to them for like five minutes, they're like, oh, yeah, sorry. Like that, that was pretty that was pretty over the top. But I was I was so fucking dumbfounded that quickly overnight while I was sleeping, I was no longer in this band and I they just blasted me. I love <laughs> that it also said fuck that fag, which is like when I whenever I think about it, like randomly, I'm like, that was fucking funny. Cause you could have just said, Oh, Derek is no longer in the band. And then <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it also had to put that other part in it. But yeah, I got I can't, I got kicked out of my band for momentarily for talking, trying to, you know, get some jogging schedule going on. And I thought that was like so bizarre that I'm like, bro, this is because, like, when I say we're a pop and, like, you know, we're having songs, we're hitting, like, you know, uh, six figures and views and stuff. We were, like, actually doing pretty well. So nice. to just be kicked out for something that simple was, like, I felt at the time I would felt so fucking hurt that I'm like, what the fuck? You didn't even talk to me? Yeah. You just went on MySpace and did this shit? It was it was the it was the dumbest and that's why like I don't hold any grudge because we the, as a matter of fact I just have a missed call from Brandon so like we're still cool it's there's literally water on the bridge but I just thought that was probably the weirdest most betrayal dumb shit that has ever happened to me the, the over thing, like the gayest thing the the thing that I remember like betrayers bro the thing that I remember and this was like a really huge deal for me at the time was I remember being in a Spanish class with uh, this is actually where I met Paul. The Spanish class that I met Paul in, and uh, I was sitting there, and I, I I would bring a glass Snapple to school, kind of like m- most days, and I had it in my lunch bag, and it was like th- I think I had Spanish the the exactly the period before lunch, and so like the I was looking up at the clock, we had like five minutes left, um, I kind of wanted to get like a sip, just some because I was like thirsty as hell. And then as I was putting the bag down, it kind of, like, dropped, I think. I dropped it a couple inches, but it was too hard, and, like, the, so it was, like, spilling. It was, like, it was like uh, you know, there was, like, a little pool of, of tea kind of coming out of the, the bottle, and I was like, oh, god mm-hmm. damn it, that sucks. Um, and then I raise my hand, and I say, hey, uh, senora, uh, senora, I'm not going to say your name, <laughs> but senora, whatever, can I can I get, like a like, a napkin or, like, a paper towel? And she goes... You're not supposed to have those in school. Go to detention. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, I was trying, I, like, I, 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 and I remember that is coded in my brain because that is a moment where I was just like, I was just trying to do the right thing and I got punished for it. So now I never do the right thing on purpose. <laughs> hey, I like that. I, I never do it. Lot. Never do it. I like that a lot. That whole year, That's by the way, design. every day after that, I made it my fucking mission to ruin that class. Like I, I ruined that entire. Like no one learned anything in that Spanish class because because of me, and I'm proud of that. I felt bad about That's it years insane. later. I was though. never, I, I, I was I, never like, that I kind of kid. I saw her and I, <laughs> I wasn't, and I, I was, I wasn't. You have to understand. This is like I. You literally clearly just, were though. <laughs> no, no, I kept to myself. I was just minding my own business, and I was just like, hey, okay. I don't want to. I don't want this to spill. I don't want to like pretend like this didn't happen and like weasel away from it like a fucking little bitch i wanted to be like hey listen i made a mistake can i get a fucking towel yeah, or you something did. and then she, and she was made like, you go down the bad ending she did yeah she did and but so, you still went down a bad ending though you still well, went down a bad ending you talking about getting punished for doing a mistake i this just happened to me and i turned into i i hate what i turned into because i'm not this guy but there's a gym right up the street and i don't mind eos fitness man fuck this place but i will say so, you a lot of gyms, if you go for the lowest tier, you have one home gym, right? You can't go to the multiple ones. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, it's just this one. Uh, this gym, there's two gyms on the same street. I signed up online, and my dumbass selected the wrong one because there was, like, two different ones on the same street. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Simple mistake. Whatever. I went to the fucking gym. I was like, hey, could you guys change this? They kept saying they were going to do it. And the third time, the general assistant general manager was like, oh, yeah, we can change it, but there's a fee. And I was like, the fuck you say? I was like, a fee? 
And I was like, yo, I just made a quick mistake. I'm just trying to get this fixed. Like, uh, And he was like, yeah, we got to charge. You either got to charge a fee or you got to upgrade to the next level so you can go to all the gyms. And I was like, yeah, suck a dick. I'm not doing that. And I, I was like, I was dumbfounded. And I talked to other people and they said, oh, no, sorry, we can't waive the gym. So I'm like, you're trying to extort me for more fucking money for making a mistake? Like, I just chose the wrong gym. Just put me to the other gym. I'm right here. I live less than a mile away. And he's like, oh, there's nothing we could do about it. And I was like, I can't fucking believe I'm going to have to do this. So I told him, I was like, I don't want to sound like a fucking idiot. But I was like, I'm going to hit up the Better Business Bureau and I'm going to threaten them. <laughs> And he was, and I told him like, I'm sure you'll bitch. I'm like, I was kind of, I was, I was swearing at the time. Yeah, I was like yeah. really fucking mad. I was like, I'm sure you'll be fucking fine. You, you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose your job or anything. But like, I have to now go corporate. Like, like that's so gay. Like, I hate that I can't just get things solved. Such a c simple situation. So Never. the fucking senior vice president of operations or whatever, he he emails me back after I like just went hard in the paint. He was like, Oh yeah, man, we switched you over, no free of charge. And I was like, Well. I wasn't looking for that anymore, bitch. I wasn't looking for that anymore because I canceled my thing. He's like, well, we'll do it free of charge and we'll wait and then and then we'll reinstate you. And I was like, I still need to work out. Fuck. I was like, all right. Because I already told the guy that uh, the general manager, I was, I'm not I'm not coming back to this fucking location. And I was thinking about like flaming them on YouTube and all this shit. Uh, but then I, I, I decided not to. Yeah, it's but long story to. short, it took yeah. no effort for this fucking guy you know, when I went to the Better Business Bureau to just do what I asked. Because I, I honestly don't even know how much the fee cost to change because it wasn't about that. My crunch fitness that I was going to, I was paying like 30-something dollars a month because it was actually a good gym. So I had the highest tier thing. This gym's like 10 bucks a month. It's a piece of shit, right? And so it was. it's not about the money. I, I could afford it. I was like, how are you charging me to just change a location that doesn't even make sense to me because I've done it before at old gyms. Like, oh, I moved. Uh, could you make this my home gym? I'm like, oh, sure, bitch. And so, yeah, I, I, uh, I wanted. I was thinking about becoming an arsonist, but I didn't. So I'm glad that that senior guy, everything's all good. But uh, yeah, I almost flooded an apartment that shut a, that turned us down once. See, that's what I'm talking about. You understand. Gee, I mean, no, I, I don't have that gene. Where I'm like, when something fucks me up, I'm like, God, that really fucking sucks. And then I just get over it. So I don't get mad. Now, some real, well, some, like some, some, some fucking, me. some real estate agent, like it was, it wasn't even like a real estate. It was, it wasn't like, oh, it was some like landlord company, you know, like those, those management companies that manage a ton of properties. We had this great, great townhouse uh, that we were like first in line for. And that's what they said. They were like, you have primary, you have primary, uh, you know, dibs wasn't the word they used, but like ostensibly, like you are the first priority. We will let you know, uh, if anybody else comes to try and, um, take the, the apartment. Uh, so go get your papers set up. And so I went home and I did it and I went back the next day. I gave it to, the, I gave the papers to them. We were like, this is going to be fucking great. It was like a three bedroom townhouse, a ton of space for like $1,900, 21, I think maybe max at that time, which is hysterical now, but, um, and then they just, I called back two days later being like, Hey, I haven't heard anything. And they were like, Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's off. It's off the market. Sorry. <laughs> and it and I knew the code. I knew how to get in. I knew the codes. And I was like, I filled, I filled a backpack full of rags. And I was like, I'm going to fucking flood this place. And then like, I, I walked out the door and I was like, all right, I should, probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't think I would have done it either. It would have been a lot of effort, but I was just so fucking mad. Like, like why do that? It's so tedious finding exactly a place to point. live. But I don't know. Let's, let's exactly uh, try right. and... Just unnecessary bullshit. That's, that's, that isn't, I've been fucked over in larger scales. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Just these things that, that unnecessarily didn't have to happen. And I'm like, fuck you, man. So, I wish, oh, bro. by the way, by the way, I wish. update. I got a, because I, I posted something on Instagram basically about Puss in Boots being like, this is, this is what an unreasonably good movie this is. Message from mm. Meat Canyon. Couldn't believe how it? couldn't believe how much I enjoyed it. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, it's just like it's just it's, it's, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, it does sound so stupid to me. I'm like, it, it, it does. Though. But uh, all right, let's move on. Let's get some other people in here. King of Haphazard wrote it. Let's do it. Our king, king. Uh, greetings, funny men who talk in my head. What video game, movie, or whatever you uh, whatever uh, do you absolutely love? 
but can't play or watch it because it scared you. I absolutely love the Alien franchise, but Alien Isolation has been collecting dust in my library because I'm fucking spooked. Much love. <laughs> alien Isolation was fucking alien good. Hybrid, but I've met you, Hugger Derek. I know you personally. Yeah, what, you're too I, I old to be afraid of that movie. Hugger I saw Derek in line when we were at uh, Rich, yeah. Richmond. Mm-hmm. Right? No, 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 no. King of Haphazard. Yeah. Why are you saying Hugger Derek? Oh no, sorry. King of Haphazard. We met in person. Yes. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We met you yeah, in person. Just... You're too old for that, bud. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, uh, I saw a picture of Andrew Tate, and then I it 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 tuned out most of the question. Sorry, it, it just it was such a wild picture of him that I was like, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it, it's basically like like uh, is there anything that uh, any game movie or whatever that you love but you can't watch or play because it scares the shit out of you? His is Alien Isolation. Okay, I've actually never played. That I've never exist. finished. I've never finished Alien Isolation. Nothing scares me. When I was yeah, no, nothing. N- <laughs> nothing scares me. Nothing now. Nothing when I was younger, when I was younger, Resident Evil One scared the shit out of me because. There's a scene where a zombie is like, it's that first scene where you encounter the zombie and he's like in the corner and you're it's going down intro. that hallway. It's the intro. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. That shit and, freaky. And that fucked me up because that mansion in my memory, it's funny because I, I go back and I look at it and I'm like, that actually looks nothing like it. But it looked exactly <laughs> like the layout and style of the mezzanine in my building at the time. And so like, it just, it, it looked too real. It looked too plausible. And then honestly, for the time, the graphics mm. on that zombie were fucking really good. Like, they were really fucking unsettling yeah. and really cool. So, like, I remember seeing that, and I was like, I can't play this. This feels like it could happen. I can't do it. It fucks me up. And then Bioshock, the intro, the, are, intro, the intro to Bioshock scared me. Uh, I remember but, you saying that, yeah. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah. not since then. I, 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 can't, I can't imagine in my adult life feeling that from, like, a movie or a, mm. or a show. I... I a lot of that probably just comes from being too um, in the weeds about how that stuff is made in the first place. Like, I have a feeling like if I just didn't know anything about movies or like the movie making process or game development or, or like how that shit is done, I might still get that reaction out of games and, and movies because apparently they they work on a lot of people, a lot of people who are older than us even. Um, Crazy. So I ha- So I have to just assume that it's. It's my proximity to the, to like the, the con, uh, I, the assembly line of these things, I guess. Because I know who's doing that. I, I know the camera. Anything. I know why the camera does that. I know Sam Raimi is, is moving the camera that way because I like the way he moves the camera. You know. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm not yeah. afraid of anything. Nothing scares me anymore. Yeah, I just, yeah. It's just not this. Nothing scary. scares There's... me. The only that scares me is police officers. That's it. <laughs> Police officers and taxis. That's it. Nothing so else scares me. You wouldn't be able to play like true crime, like Streets of LA or something. Would that like freak you out? Nothing that scares me is my life. My life scares me. I should scare you. In fact, you should be afraid of okay. me. Yeah. You're terrified yeah, well, of me. I see I'm on my way in. toward you. <laughs> I'm uh, coming at everybody. I'm I'm everywhere. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Yeah. Ah, me, you bad beast. Uh, king of Devin, Devin is meat. pregnant. Devin is pregnant, wrote in. He says, good day, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Keith David, and Master Chief with his armor off. Hope you all, who are all doing well. Uh, a classic question for, uh, for, for you. Hope it hasn't been asked too frequently. If you could make any, <laughs> if you could make any crime legal everywhere, but would have to actually commit the crime, what would it be? Did, did we do something like this? Public mm. masturbation. Okay. If you could make any it's crime legal everywhere, what would you? But just you imagine. would have to actually commit the crime. What would it just be? Imagine Times Square, everyone just beating off. Everybody um, yanking it, bro. Everybody <laughs> yanking it, bro. Uh, There's a digit puddle of cum. <laughs> puddle, bro. Oh it man, I wouldn't. Anything. I wouldn't go to Disneyland anymore. I wouldn't go to Disneyland anymore. Like, I couldn't go to Disneyland anymore. Everybody like, coming on Goofy's fucking head. <laughs> On the right, like, <laughs> Captain Low to his fucking head. Yo, Pluto! <laughs> That's a lot of gum. <laughs> Mickey! Mickey, you don't keep coming on me, Mickey. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Maxie, that's too much gum. Wait, wait, guys. I wonder, okay, wait, 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 I wonder wait, wait. what Andrew Callahan would say to this question. <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> guys, okay, wait, wait. wait. Does it, wait, can we... One question, right? We all know this, right? But I want to see if it, I, I know this, and I'll be, I know people disagree. Is Goofy black? 
Uh, um, I always kind of read him as dad. Mm, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. He, I, we know. There's an episode know. of Atlanta that I can show you that'll completely change your mind. It'll completely change your mind about it. Mm. But so people are like Max isn't black, right? What? But and I'm like, be. I'm like, I always thought Max and Goofy were black people. Yeah. We found out later on lives. in our lives. You are so that weird. Via, no, 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 no. We found, so... we found out later off in our lives. Who's we? Uh, me and Chris, legitimately, we found later on like, that no, Goofy no, no, was no. actually made. Yeah, the original caricature of Goofy was was intentionally like supposed to 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 be like a kind of like a black um character. Uh, but ev- the Goofy that everybody understands as Goofy is certainly not either of those things. I, I think I, he I, is, I, man. I think you know, you know what it is? Guy. I can't. I, I think, think I can't. Like the whitest white guy. You know what the thing is? I can't. I can't relate to that level of like projecting Hispanic everywhere. Like I can't be like that character is Hispanic. I've never once thought that ever, unless it was like explicit. And I, I just I, think it's I, interesting. For, I just, I think some, it's interesting that for me, you are. For I just me, think it's interesting that you're like the nin- these Ninja Turtles are black. Goofy's black. Yeah. Fucking uh, Kingpin is black. What does Goofy uh, the white do one is black. That makes you think he's black. <laughs> the white one is black. I never, I never <laughs> thought that the Kingpin was uh, what you call it. Um, so there's a moment for me in the Goofy movie because Goofy, Goofy movie oh reminds God. me of every like black dad. That is just trying to keep his child on the straight and narrow. That just fucks up a lot. Goofy's that's personality. Just, what about Goofy's that's, personality? That's, that's, that's what made me think it. But that's me, just, that's what, but I that's get it just, because it's from the but, Goofy but, movie. But, but Kingston, that's just that a, a single dad. dad as well. That's just a single dad. dad as well. That's just like yeah, stereotypical but the, the trope, dad. The trope isn't a single dad. The trope is that the dad's not there. Oh, I understand. But the thing is that for me, I, I, didn't, I didn't exactly have that because that trope didn't make sense to me a lot because a lot of the black people I knew, their parents were around. Of course, right? It's, it's a stereotype. It, it a it's not. It's yeah. like that's what like because because that because that trope. You know, you hear the trope of like, oh, uh, a black black dad. You don't know your dad for Thanksgiving. Like, I know my dad. My dad sucks, <laughs> but I know him at least. <laughs> like everybody's like, oh, a black kid. But going like, back to Goofy, I, I had the other thing for Mother's Day. I had no going one to back talk to Goofy to. and Goofy's personality. What what about I, Goofy's personality? For me, for me, I assume man. Goofy was black because of how much of a doofus he was, how big and long and lanky he was. And I, I, for some, oh he just seemed God. like a black dad to me. I know I understand. Oh I understand people would argue this, right? People you thought he was black like... because he was retarded? No, you said, well, no. You said, no. See, He's here's goofy. the here's the thing that's interesting to me. It you sound like to me of what a white kid would think. Oh, I thought he was black because he has black skin. And he's tall and lengthy, like black well, people. Well, Goofy, Goofy is does have black skin, legitimate. Well, <laughs> so does yeah, Mickey but, Mouse. But they all do. Yeah, yeah I know. They, it's different. No, it's different. Donald's but, definitely not black. <laughs> you cannot argue that Donald Duck is black. <laughs> he's look, never been I, shown. I he's never once been about the culture. <laughs> like when we talk about the show Doug, right? You can argue that okay, Skeeter. I'm pretty sure Skeeter's black. Yeah, yeah. Even though, like, the show creators, they talk about what they were originally, they were thinking about him being a uh, Hispanic. They were they were actually, <laughs> well, I'm not going to get into it. It's, it's a whole other funny story of why they chose colors instead of, like, other shit. But this Skeeter, okay, that's a black kid. Like, we can see it. We well, can kind of feel that, it. But, but like, the, no, Goofy now, doesn't give off any vibes that would think. The way that he dances, the way that he does the fishing, the way that he dresses, he, everything he pull, seems he like he's up the with standard a, uh, uh, He pulled up with a, 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 with a 70s afro, you know. What? He pulled up with a seventies. Are you talking Afro? about that? In the, second, that? in the second the movie, sequel? that that movie yeah. doesn't count to me. That movie yes, it not does. Count what do you mean? That's crazy. No, that it's not as, not as good as the first anything. one, absolutely. But it's, it's still not, a good it's movie. N- it's like it's the, it's nowhere. It's like it's like comparing the first Ninja Turtles to the third Ninja Turtles movie. It's it's like they're like that one doesn't even exist. The third Ninja Turtles movie does not even exist. Did you see it's, the the part from the third Ninja Turtles where Raph <laughs> opened his mouth and you can see that <laughs> guy <laughs> in his mouth? That That's shit actually, scared I've, I've the never fuck seen, out of me when I was a kid. I, I, I gotta I've say, I gotta tell that. you, I gotta correct you. That's actually was it's, that two? It's, no, it's in the first movie. It's actually wait, the, it's first, the movie. first one. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the first movie. Wait, no where, way. Wait, when they go up, when they go upstate, when they go upstate, and um, like there's look at I think it's Donatello actually. I want to see it was this. Raph. But say Raph, you might be right. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I'm pretty sure it's the first one. You can see the guy's face. When <laughs> you see his eyes <laughs> inside of it, it's so scary, dude. That is <laughs> horrifying. So 
Oh, oh this is so oh, there's scary. The image, there's the image Watch the of retrospective. one of the turtles like this. <laughs> Watch the retrospective, the review <laughs> of uh, Red Letter Media. They're going over it. I think <laughs> um, they talk about it there. Yo, that which, is which the one is scariest it? Which is it? thing. Uh, uh, it's, it's from the 1990s uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Uh, which color the, turtle? Yeah, though? from the first one. No, it's which the, one is the it? The purple, see? purple. Um, so it's Donald so Donnie. Yeah. yeah. That's that is hilarious. so scary. I love the idea. I love the idea of that happening. But for me, like I, like I, for no, this, this, this is me being a kid, right? This is me being a kid, right? Whenever I saw a character that was kind of treated like the other character, I was like, oh, that's a black person. That's so weird. <laughs> when you were the other, when you were the other, you were like the black person. That's why I thought Piccolo was black. That's why I thought Knuckles was sort of like black coated. That's thing why about, I thought like, I never the saw turtles the, were. The, I never saw the when people were saying Piccolo and the Na- Namekians are black. Where I'm like, are you seeing what the fuck they're wearing? Like the, it, it blew my mind. They must be like Sikh people. The, the, I'm like it's it's not even uh, that's what, that was the thing where I'm like how I see how people see characters within themselves. I get that, but I'm like when you see what these people. That's how I feel about Go- Goofy. I see like Goofy, like Goofy's the standard Goofy white guy, no rhythm, super uncoordinated, quirky. The fish, look at his fishing gear. Like no, no, you get you're not gonna catch a brother like rocking all the dumb so, shit. So that he's what wearing. happens is this episode of and, Atlanta, right? This episode of Atlanta. Yeah, so they're arguing it or what? Where they argue it, right? Because it's um, it's idea where it's an alternate reality, it's alternate universe, <laughs> where the creator of a Goofy movie was um, was a black man, which I think. A lot of the creating group of it were black people. Wait, wait. But this is <laughs> no, 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 no. It's 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 just an argument made for the sake of the show. Because they go like they go over the characters of, of this is this character black, of this character black, this character black, and they comment on Goofy, and everybody's like, "Yeah, Goofy's a black person." I always kind of agreed with that. I always kind of thought him and Max were black people, but I always mm. it was always just like because they were just the others people, you know. For the Ninja Turtles, I think it's obvious the Turtles are black. I don't know how people argue they weren't, but people, some people argue that the only one that was black was Wrath, and the other ones were like I, an I assortment of whatever kind of there, other things. There are, there are certain I, eras where I can agree, where there are certain eras where I think they are, but like I don't, I don't think they're entire. Like I, cow, like that that whole cowabunga fucking let's let's the like skating, that surfer everything that they the, the surfer skating culture the skating because. Because skate culture in New York, a lot of black kids skated in no, New York. Maybe no, it's not, not over about here, over ska- in the West. It's not about just skating. It's about like the way they speak, their voices, their intonation, the things that they say. I don't know, it's man. Fucking... I always, I always thought they were. People they argue that they aren't. Bid. Bump, I have dude, never they sounded like look. I have never no, 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 once no, no, heard no, no, a black. No, 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 like, I, I understand there's several. They sounded renditions. like California surfers except and for Raph. I understand there's several renditions, and I, that's the thing. Right. Well, let's go back to the first. Right? If you look at say the 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 live act or the cartoons, they sounded like California surfers when they made Which, the cartoons. So the first one. So there's there's a bunch. There's the so one from the eighties. The eighties so one. That's, that's, we've had this conversation on the show let's before. The source. But no, 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 no. But the eighties the one, they're white boys. We, they are white boys <laughs> in the eighties ones, right? In the comics, in the early comics, I think they're definitely because they had California uh, accents, but they're from New York. Yeah, but okay, in the comics right. they were dude, these these were the the whitest people in the world wrote these comics. They, I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't mean it, that doesn't mean they can't be black characters. I understand uh, they, your they argument. They had nothing on their minds of let's make some black characters and this will be cool. They this was a complete parody and then it blew up. It was like, a they, parody? They made really? This, yes. They made this to fucking just to what were they lampooning? I don't even remember. They were lampooning um what existed before it. But like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a, was a fucking joke. It wasn't supposed to be like a thing, but then it caught on. If you look it up really? real quick, it'll show up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just can't remember. I, I never knew wait. about. I never. I never knew about that personally. Yeah, I yeah, just that, read that, that a lot real. of the comics. I never knew about. It's it. like goofy. It's just these goofy white guys that were just trying to be funny, and then their thing just took like took the world by storm. And like, oh shit. That's kind of how I, I wish be, I remembered who it was. That's 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 so funny that you say that because that is true. And I remember reading about that, and I and I remember my first introduction to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was that movie and I thought the very concept of it was like this is so fucking dumb I hate this <laughs> this is oh, such a Daredevil. fucking they were, they were, they were fuck, they were, it was Daredevil they were lampooning Daredevil 
So you can, they read, were? you can read into it. Yeah, you can read into it. I never knew that because for my whole life, I was like, oh, cause I, cause I, didn't, I also didn't pick it up at the goofier of it. My initial exposure to it was the black and white comics where everyone kind of had like the red, everyone had like a, everyone was just kind of fucked up and gritty. You know, that was my first exposure to it from my uncle that showed me it. And then eventually I realized like, oh, there's an older one, there's older show where it's like teenage new, it did the turtles, like heroes in a half so show. It started off gritty. This was like I said, it was. The comic that was that they were fucking around with, and it took off, and they did they did some series. Then, of course, it picked up. Uh, then they got picked up a show, made it a little more kid friendly. And it's funny if you look at the animation from the beginning of the show, fucking stellar. And then as soon as it gets picked up, it's just ass, <laughs> which I guess is kind of standard for a lot of people. Just all right, make the pilot and everything is, just, and then the intro is fucking just perfect. And then they just you know hire some you know Koreans and they pay them no money. But um, hey, bro. Yeah. Anyway, born in Korea. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's. I just. I, I think it's just another thing of like, I because I never. I know what like the average black kid was like, um, and I was not like them since I grew up away from them, so I knew I was very different in the urban sense or what people thought was a stereotype. And when I saw these characters, they seem more like the people I knew. You know, in my area and stuff, growing up with, like, these people named Taylor and Daniel and shit like that, and the way that they behaved and, like, say, a few of the handful of black kids that were around my area, like, uh, this this dude Corey and shit, who was all into fashion and everything, like, the, 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 he was not a, a turtle or he didn't remind me of Maximilian or nothing like that. Like, it was, your, like, Wesley, that's what they reminded me. You know, they reminded me of the white kids that I knew. Mm, like, that I, never, I never me. got those vibes. That was weird for me because they, they they reminded me just simply of like, based on what they would do, what they would eat, where they would be at, and stuff like that. It reminded me of New York, and I reminded me of myself. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. I see. I understand that but you are so a New Yorker. In- that makes that's, that's the thing. But that's so interesting because I I don't think I ever read like, oh, this character is in New York, clearly Hispanic because I see myself in him. You know what I mean? Like I just think that's. Kind of but I mean, but I mean, New York. New York is like New York is a place that's so like I don't know, because like for some reason, like people have like the whole like typical New York accent, and I kid you not, I was around a lot of like I feel like that was more of an Italian New York accent because I know a bunch of Puerto Rican people that talk like Ghostface Killer and stuff like that. They don't talk like Hey, what's going on? I'm walking because that accent I didn't hear that very often. <laughs> but I gotta admit, I'm also Caribbean. So I might have been around a lot of people that are of Caribbean or Latino backgrounds that did not speak like that. They had accents from where they came from. So I ne- I rarely heard that accent. That was mostly like an on TV accent I heard. My mom had that accent kind of. I never I That's I know awesome. your mom does have an accent like that, but she I does. never heard it when I was growing up in New York. And I was just like, where's she from? This is how we talk? My mom? Where's it? Yeah, where's your mother from? Uh, Puerto Rico, but the but oh, the Bronx. So uh, ah, yeah, you know, yeah, so it's, okay. it's, so she just picked up like you know she's a Christopher. She's that's what she says. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like it's very like Italian adjacent because she worked, I guess, with the I don't know. She might have spent a lot of time, or maybe she I don't know. New York's a very diverse place, so it it really just kind of if you're developing there. It just really is a luck of the draw based on like who you're around or who you're speaking to the most. Because she wasn't going to pick up. I don't have have a New York accent at all. Because she wasn't going to pick up an English accent. She wasn't going to pick up a New York accent from my grandmother who didn't speak English. You know, she was going to speak Mm -hmm. Spanish and then she was going to learn English the way that everybody else was talking. And that just happened to be, you know, a very Italian, very kind (laughs) of almost uh, almost uh, whinging Jewish kind of inflection. And so my my grandma my mom will switch between like span it, it, she has like a spanglish kind of accent in some like because sometimes it sounds Spanish and then so other times it'll sound like a straight up like it's the fucking um, Sopranos. And it's interesting. It's very bizarre. That's that's, that's awesome. where it's different for me because like I grew I would lived in, I lived in New York until I was like thirteen, and I always sort of sound like this. I've never had a different accent at all. I just kind of sound like yeah whatever dude. You know, like I always yeah. used dude and bro, yeah, like my whole life because I was because I was told not to say nigga at all in my house. <laughs> like I said it once and I got a beating, and I was like, oh, <laughs> not in here. Yeah. So it was just, yeah, that, yeah, that that was not vocabulary in my house either. Yeah, so I just grew up and I was like, yo, dude. 
stuff like that. But then I remember I, I, I like I left the inner city and everybody's like, yo, forget about it. And what's going on? And I was just like, huh? And I remember back, I was like, I guess my, my friend Anton's mom sort of speaks like that. But for me, it was everybody was like, yo, what's up, kid? What's going on, guy? You know, like, I'm talking, like, everyone I knew that was around me talked, like, 90s rappers. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I remember hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, I, this is how people from New York sound. And now, growing up, my nephew, my nephew talks like the, they talk like preppy nerds in New York now. They sort of talk I just don't like understand that kids. chameleon shit. Like, the I, accent is like... so different now. It's not even anywhere what it was when we were younger. I don't understand, like, because I feel like once you grow up with an accent, I feel like that's it. You know, that's that's you. That's how you sound. That's how you're gonna talk. Or uh, for it. so when people like are older, and then they they start changing, like drastically, that shit fucking it's so bizarre to me. It's have so you ever bizarre. lived in a place that have people talk very differently though? That's the that's another thing. I, I have, but the thing is, it's like it's like my friend Daniel. He's been in the states for over a decade. He's from uh, England. He sounds like a British fuck still. He does not sound he any moved different. There? He was a completed. He was an adult. That's mm, probably why. So that's that's and like that's so that's what, the thing though. My my also, friend, also, he my, didn't friend his language as well. my friend I blind. I've known since uh, since we were like thirteen or fourteen or something, and he was my British friend on Xbox Live. And when I met him, I remember he had a really thick British accent. Now he doesn't really sound British at all. Like he has an accent, but See, it's like. It's like this massacred, That's... like, it, it does not sound, <laughs> like, if you were to guess, you might be able to guess, like, that he's British from, like, very specific words, but it doesn't, like, I don't know, do you think he sounds British? I think uh, I sounds Sweeney? British, but, like, not extremely British. He doesn't sound like, he's not Harry Potter fucking, you know what no, I mean? No, he's not, like, he's not, like, fucking Hermione <laughs> sounding British, no. It's just interesting to me when I see people, like, uh, how they can change that much. I know a lot of people can do it, but I find it fascinating. It's like when people spend enough time in the South, they go in the deep South, and all of a sudden they have twang when they come back. And I'm like, what? How does? Well, well, I like, think it's the idea of like you have to change the language you speak, you know? Because like if you speak English and you come from the UK, you won't have to really change the way you speak. But let's say like if you speak, if you're like from like I don't know Iran or something like that, you come to America and you're learning English while you're here. I think that'll affect the way you speak English. You'll probably sound like people that aren't from. That's here. very true. But I'm I'm talking about just people who have English as their first language. They're like they'll even they'll go somewhere and they'll spend enough time there and they start assimilating. And, and I guess that's the part where it's like it's almost seems like very suggestible people, where mm. they they almost don't have an identity, and then they kind of leech onto other people. That's what it just feels like to me because I I just. I've I've lived in so many different places and I've seen people have like some wild I sometimes like I have a friend that lives around a bunch of hicks but then she sounds like a valley girl and I'm like how did this happen like it, it just it it blows it's just I know weird for how me personally I like, say how, words how did in you Spanish sound, how do you sound like you're from California and everybody around you sounds like a slack jawed fucking hick like how I does definitely this say words like I say words that are I'm like for instance I'm being around my girlfriend so much and her mom only speaks Spanish like that is yeah. it she only speaks Spanish. I say sala like instead of bed. I'm in the living room sometimes. See, no mommy's way. We have to get to this <laughs> question because I love this. Oh yeah, let's okay, do it. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. Holman Wait, Brown ninety eight wrote in. Holman Brown ninety eight. Holman Brown, a boy. He goes, hello there, my deranged moral compass. Me and my girlfriend are into seeing stage shows and musicals on London's West End. After the failed attempt at the Spider Man musical, Turn Off the Dark. Which many, saw many cast members uh, being left concussed with leg trauma and the stunt performer being that. launched into the orchestral pit. What other franchises, games, films, TV, films, TV, etc., would you want to turn into a cursed musical? I was thinking oh, God Fighter. of War Here's, and seeing Here's. Kratos. Street Fighter. Street Fighter musical. Yes. What were you? What were you going to say? So he was. Well, he, he said Kratos. God of War. You said, yeah. He said he said Kratos having to recite a musical number seems funny to me. Keep up the fine work, Jess. That'd be fun. Uh, love uh, Could Christopher Judge. Like, uh, I'll sing it. <laughs> Shit, I can see that. <laughs> he can I probably sing, it. knowing him too. Yeah, probably. He probably fucking sing his ass off. Um, Gears of War, absolutely. You're like one hundred percent. I need Dom. I need Easily. fucking uh, John DiMaggio. Would fucking probably be up for it too. That's why it would probably be good. <laughs> Just. 
<laughs> just have him sing some numbers. I want and I wanted to get as popular as uh, Grease. Like I want I want the Gears musical to get as, Gears on Broadway to be as celebrated for decades. I, like Greece. I I can't even express to you how much I would love to sincerely see. I would be in the fucking front row of Gears <laughs> of War on Broadway. So fa- you could not. Yeah. I would have the playbill. I'd I'd be reading through it. I'd be like, oh man, I can't I can't wait to fucking hear this song about unironically. Fucking- get the- get the- <laughs> that is, <laughs> there is no better dyke. There would be no better fit, I think. Like, I'm actually, I'm trying to think of other ones that I think would be good, and I don't think any of them are nearly even remotely as good as Gears of War in a musical setting. I, I would listen to Street because I want to see somebody die. That would like easily. they would fuck something up, and someone would get like they would tattoo Maki <laughs> some pook somebody, and they would break their neck, and it'd just be a dead person trying to hide. He's not doking it, but he's like a dead. I feel like I feel like you know I feel doing like doing the Akuma uh, dash around the place, and he breaks his back. I feel like that's the thing. It's like the Street Fighter one would have a lot of people who probably hurt themselves trying to do those That'd ridiculous. Like, you doing like, the moves for doing sure. Doing the moves, it'd be like <laughs> it's flash a, kick, break your neck, land on your head. lands right on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> but someone that'd be does amazing. a spinning, someone does a spinning bird kick, and they just bring them up the wrong way, and they're paralyzed for the rest of their life. <laughs> it would just be so beautiful. Actually, if you want to see it be a disaster, Street Fighter does make a lot of sense. It and that's really gonna be a baby fucking like this is, it is. no no this because man, or you can be thing. Tekken, and someone just gets beat to death because you have to hire deranged people for it so someone playing Kazuya would beat a young man to death <laughs> were you gonna say Chris no I was gonna say just like I could the, the thing that's fucking me up about it is that I could I could really I could see a Gears of War musical being like not the worst I want it like I could They're see it I, bad, fucking, yeah. I could see it being like real like I can't even imagine the musical number for General Ram and like fucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would be pretty fucking good Dude, there'd be like a like the Carmine joke. He's always getting killed and shit. It would oh be my so good. god, we this needs to. I you know what? I'm going to I'm going to reach out to uh, Viv. I'm going to reach out to Viv, uh, the creator of uh, Has Been Hotel. She's a big musical person. I'm going to pitch her <laughs> this. I'm going to say, listen, you and I are going to work together on this. Please. Leave your sh- that show that you worked really really hard on for several years. Ditch it. <laughs> Uh, I know you got picked up. I know you got picked up. I know you got picked up by A twenty four, and I know you're working with uh, actors who I I wish I I I would do anything to be in a room with. However, uh, this needs to happen now. Anything? Fuck everything you got going on. I have to see. I have to hear general, general, general rum. I have to hear that. I have to hear it. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see her like I think tomorrow. So I'm gonna be like, "Hey, Maria, Maria." Uh, that would be so distasteful. <laughs> that would be so wildly distasteful. You remind me before you were dead. <laughs> How do you now solve your a problem like you're trapped in a worm? <laughs> I think <laughs> you're trapped in a worm, and it's gory. Trapped in the, the you, worm set. The think about think about that. Dude. Now we have a worm set, story. dude. The worm set would be so awesome. Yeah, I think, dude, I think I, that actually would be a fucking winner. I it would be a winner. That that shit. A would worm sick work. in a fucking city. <laughs> it's a giant worm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sweeney, you 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 brought up. Uh, I just I wanted to ask you something if you knew this because I just learned this maybe like uh, just a, a few years ago. Up. I always wondered, and I never looked this up. Uh, so you mentioned the Tatsumatsu Simpiyaku. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. When whenever I would hear Ryu and Ken say, I never knew what the fuck they were saying, and I was like, mm-hmm. that doesn't sound anything like what what it's actually called. And I never looked it up because I'm just an idiot, right? I just I just wondered. Didn't make any sense to me. Then I finally, a little while ago, maybe like two or three years ago, I looked it up. What the really? fuck are they saying? And then I just learned that. It's just taking the first the prefi- the prefixes, so it's like Tasumaki, so it's Tasmat sent pu and yeah. I was like, you didn't I know that. Never. Fu- How the fuck would I know? Like you, because you can't guess that. That's not a thing I, that you can I, just know. I, I How did you find that out? Because I looked up what they're saying, okay. and then I read it. And I <laughs> well, was that like, would oh. be the best way to figure it out. I mean. <laughs> That's the only way you can figure. That's, that's why like, I just way. never. But I was like thirteen. I was like thirteen. I was just like, 
Oh, that's what they're saying. Oh, oh so, you, so you knew for, like, so you knew like most of your life, and I just like, I knew me like as when a, I was very me young. probably like thirty years old or something. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, talk to my Oh, I get it. The, the, what what, I, what really uh, and the funny thing is, I still didn't. Uh, so there's a song called "Demons with Ryu" by this band called Amir. Mm-hmm. The beginning of the song is it claims he's saying Tatsumasi Simpu Kyaku. It, but that is not wh- whatever he's saying. It goes da 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 like in that, and I'm like, those don't fit anywhere. <laughs> and people were trying to figure out what he was saying in the comments, and the best thing people came up with it says, "That's a nice size pelican." That's like and then people are like, "What is he saying?" And someone's like, "That's a nice size pelican." I don't understand. And uh, yeah, even then I didn't look it up. <laughs> yeah. And even then, like whenever like Shinku Tatsumaki, you know, like whenever he would do yeah, the X Shinku version of it. Shinku Tatsumaki Simpukyaku. The only dude, one, the only one was, they fully uh, say it. The only one they fully say it is in my Marvelous Capcom Three. They dude, fully say what it is. But in the other one is like Shinku Tatsumaki. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I yeah, remember, yeah, I remember yeah. like being like, oh yeah, like that. I guess that makes sense. But I found out only because I was looking shit up. I only found out because when I was younger, one day I was like, I have to find out what they're saying and it's bugging me not knowing exactly what they're saying because I would read it out and I'd be like, hmm. So I just looked it up one day. All right. Let's I get to never this. took the time to Let's do get it. to this last guy. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to this I last guy. Gotcha. We're, we're trailing off a lot this episode. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> Big dumb film snob wrote in. And he says, what's up, you <laughs> frothing troglodytes? Uh, I'm not what frothing What songs... Yet. What songs get you bricked? I'm currently making a playlist to play during sex. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, and would like mm. to know what are some of your go-to songs you use to mask the sounds of rubbing meat. Thanks to all your new content uh, you've made for us patrons. And remember to keep those dicks hard in 2023. Thank you, big dumb film snob. Thank you, but we appreciate it. Let me say this. I Is that the vibe? Is that CVAT? <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I don't know about I don't know how you guys feel about this. But I I uh I feel like having a playlist for that is kind of insane. I what I, really? I understand so like for so for me it's like I definitely have a song that I think is like the least objectionable and like it's not it's not that it's it's not so much that it works it's just so much that it's like this 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 it's better than silence and it 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 it, it works and i'll play that song maybe sometimes maybe but like it'll never like i don't have like this playlist of 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 songs that i like oh it's time to it's time to fuck let me put the fucking playlist on like i don't have that <laughs> I'm trying to probably think. a bad idea because you might you might train yourself and then you can't have sex without it. Yeah, that's the you know? yeah. Or you'll have the um, opposite. For- the problem that I have now is that like I can't listen to that song without thinking about doing that. Like, which is why it's like <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it's limited to one song. It's I mean it's it's a uh, Deadhead by uh, Devin Town Devin Townsend Project. It's it's long. Well, it's not long enough, but it's like longer than a normal song would be. <laughs> uh it's long and, enough, and it's a good song. It's it's, it's a good Let's rhythm. It's it's like a like a Deftones kind of like like vibe kind of thing. And it's like yeah. okay, this this works. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But I don't know, man. A playlist is is a whole playlist. Well, see, here, here's, I can't even I, imagine what you're saying. I actually kind of makes sense a little bit. Like, say, if I was thinking about actually a vibe and ambiance, mm-hmm. I have an EDM. Um, it's it's really it's EDM, but it's really more of a trans mix because like this trans music is like like trance. I, I like you know what I'm, like it's just it sounds so <laughs> yeah, close yeah. to like, <laughs> like I love transsexual music, music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> transsexual music you know what I'm talking about like yeah, the music uh, you listen so- to when you're going through the snip or <laughs> <when> you're going- <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like that it's very soothing it's usually like nice soft beats with like some chick singing over it with a beautiful voice uh, that actually would make sense if I was thinking of like a setting or whatever but my the only reason I put on music if ever is uh, I live with people. And I just kind of want to just right. mask, you know, like, that I just want to be courteous. Yeah, so, that is the only reason why I put on music myself, if anything. Yeah. So the first thing I put on is I have a general playlist, th- which is just a mix of, like, everything. It's not anything specific. It's mostly, like, a lot of old metal that's not too heavy. But it's just, like, I just put it on real quick. 
just like it's not even about thinking about anything. I'm not, and I'm not banging to metal, the beat. Bro, that must sound wild. That must be a wild time. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about some like... crazy <laughs> shit, some incubus level shit, just tearing someone's ass up. I will say one time, and I felt so corny. Word this up. was probably this was like twenty. <laughs> 20... <laughs> this was like 2011, 2012, or some shit that. Uh, the girl I was with at the time, she was really into this band called uh, The Ghost Inside. And because of that, she was like, because it's, it's a very like fast, hardcore band, very melodic and stuff. One of my favorite bands. And then I put, I felt so corny because knowing that, oh, it's her favorite band. She was trying to like make it like almost kind of romantic in a way. And I was like, this is so fucking stupid. Like I felt dumb. And the music's fast as fuck, mind you. It's not really a song you want to like try to actually perform to. <laughs> Nah, but did you do it? Did you at least write? Did you just attempt? Uh, I mean, I, I I don't remember exactly the whole. Enc- I just I have like remnants of like just being in the where I used to live, and then the music playing all loud and just being like, "This is stupid." But I don't really remember how I performed. I don't really remember the actual like encounter. Not really. And uh, I just remember I just remember the embarrassing parts, the parts that made me feel stupid. Like just like, oh, this song's dope. Like this fucking breakdown's about to go on, and you're like, it just didn't match up. It didn't match up. It's not what, what I do. I wouldn't recommend for sex. What I do is I I like complete silence. I like yeah, complete <laughs> death insane. silence. I want to. I like deathly <laughs> silence, and I like counting how many strokes I give before I t- I'm out the game. That is how I do it. Yo, I've gotten I've up to I've gotten up to sixteen. That. I've gotten up to sixteen. That's my max, and I'm fucking. I'm really pushing for twenty. I think I get twenty. <laughs> Dude, you're a fucking champion. You got up to 16? sixteen. Sixteen fucking... whole strokes. I mean, like sixteen a, a sixteen like a minute. Nah, period. <laughs> period. Sixteen Yo, a actually... minute is still outrageously slow. It's so funny <laughs> that you see it is It's a great way to pace yourself if you if you bust quick though. The, so you kind of just know. like whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take another ten seconds. Oh. <laughs> You're fucking really, really, really guesstimating how much you got left. You, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. One more. Yeah, um, oh, oh, man. <laughs> I, I do like that idea of I've never thought about that, but counting how many strokes. I kind of like that. I've, like, I'm at, I'm deadly sad. But honestly, when I'm all jokes aside, I usually put on some um some sort of like uh like vapor Shade, soul, bro. like vapor soul, vapor twitch music. You know, it's music where it's like someone singing like, like a sort of a Caribbean soulful beat, and then like some like electronic in behind it. You know, or I put I'll, on like the Luther Vandross or some shit like that. But that's like I did I'll that when on, I was younger. I'll, I'll put on uh the Family Guy theme. The family guy, <laughs> and I'm I always finish before I always finish before lowest parts begins. Jesus Christ! I'm always, I'm always done. That's the I'm beginning. Done. <laughs> That's then no then then and it seems today before that I'm already done. I'm already done. I'm already low yeah. rolling over anyway. fucking sleeping. Anyway, we're yeah. we're we're going over the clock here. It's time to uh, it's time to uh, say goodbye. Thanks to everybody who supports our show. <laughs> this episode was a fucking mess. It's a fucking disaster. But uh, <laughs> thanks to everybody who supports our show. I think it was uh, one of the best shows we've done in a while. <laughs> come on over to uh, come on over to patreon.com slash the snark tank. Uh, throw us your support over there. We got some uh, fun extra stuff for you. Uh, just waiting. And uh, I guess I'll read our $25 patrons now. <laughs> oh, Three, guys, two, one. One go. Sweeney is secretly a drag queen. Secretly? Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, Riley, yeah, great. <laughs> Riley O'Connor, Star Coffee, De- Devin is pregnant, She Ying on my long till I ma. Uh, Always Sunny has an official podcast. Did you know? Scream Team, Clit Eastwood, yes. Transfem Gremlin, Can Lee Harvey Lion Beat a Million mm-hmm. Kennedys? My Sexual Awakening was the quirky g- uh, goth girl from NCIS, and now my taste in women is ruined. Tiger Lily, DP Motion Plus mm-hmm. uh, Fist, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Squishy and his two big cums. Uh, the angelic dungeon master who is desperately t- trying desperately to convince that rogue that rubbing that robbing the king of haphazard is a terrible idea. Chris waking up in an alternate reality where every song is erased from existence and replaced with a cover of the same song by Imagine Dragons. 
I filled that in, by the way. It cuts off. It cuts off at the end where it says, uh, "What is it? A cover of the same song sung by." I have to assume you're trying to fuck with me, so I just assumed the Madden Dragon. Doctor Eight P H uh, D, very smart. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> <laughs> is that a Slim Jim? It's it's a it, it's not a slim. I mean, it's a meat stick, but it's like better. Are you eating a meat? Are you eating a fucking flesh? Are you eating a flesh line, bro? <laughs> that what is the fuck so you doing? damn. Sm- that is so. Can you imagine if your dick was that thin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah imagine. You gotta <laughs> imagine if you. All right, let me put it this way. Imagine your urethra was that thick. That's oh. crazy. Oh, oh that's crazy, yeah. bro. You putting pens in your dick hole? Dude, you're getting, I got a pen right here. <laughs> Dude, you're getting no pressure in your when you when you come. It's just gonna just leak out. <laughs> it's just it's gonna, gonna fucking like... around the sides. <laughs> that shit falls like, out. You come and then like you walk away. And you're like what slide. happened? <laughs> <laughs> you come and then you walk out and you're like, oh man, it leaked all in my pants. You know what it's it like? It's like takes it's, a while to get down. <laughs> it's like the. Uh, it's like those little fountains people get when they do, <laughs> like drapes over the rocks. Oh my god! Uh, Craig the Canadian is finally awake. It's your boy Shawnee D. Southern sweet tea. Matt Walsh is a hero of our time. Sweet baby gang for life. Come man, the man of come. Indie butter knife. You got to get some of this bussy or what? The porcelain white. This porcelain white kettle is on the stove, boys. Stop being such a fucking tease and have some. The log lost N word pass. Up until it was renamed in 2021, there was a popular Australian cheese brand named Coon. That's why. I know. I know it. Actually, there's a picture of me photoshopped on the package. That's in crazy. God damn. Yeah. 3XO. <laughs> I'm here to say that Gay Santa has a better sleigh. Oh, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Uh, Three XO here to here to say that Gay Santa has a better sleigh. Uh, Sweeney, quickly. There's a Twitter account called Stupid. at Sweeney's Guide. Uh, go there, scan the code to see a video. Way to skip my name. Slapping, eating, stroking, gulping. Emo- uh, emoticons going this way. Um, Storm Boy's <laughs> life and what he like. Waterboarding Santa with lime juice until I get my PlayStation Five. Uh, dame dane, dame yo, dame nano yo. Call her Little Caesars the way her pussy hot and ready Dr- Drip MH The Lord of Drip Nancy Pelosi killing a Palestinian with a massive chips oh, oh, uh, Obi-Wan should blow me Never mind Sweeney I realize you have swamp ass I'm coming for Chris's buttons That XOXO Big Papa Shack Kremlin the Gremlin Chris Reagan Professional ass never I like sucking penis parentheses I'm not gay I just appreciate the craft One gay to rule That's them cool. all One gay to find them One gay to bring them all And the tightest asshole to bind them Mitch McConnell's tortoise shell Alsta Wall Okay you said it right Avi Welcome to Andrew Chase Kidnapped women in a little dick emporium Fragile Muslim they sold separately. Sea shanty voice. Soon, <laughs> soon may the Weller man come and fuck my ass till it's numb. Then once the toughen is the tongue is done, he'll drink my cum. What was the last? There was like a there was like a what will we do with the drunken sailor one last episode, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, was a good one. That was a good one. Well, in the morning. Oh man! Hey, hey, well, fuck him, bloody! I gotta go back. I gotta go back and listen because that one was fucking real good. Uh, <laughs> Wage slate five eighty three. Uh, hard R man. I feel gay. Fuck you. The Papini Brothers uh, Emporium of Obama's Let's Play clips. <laughs> like the, the idea of an hard R man like is like so the AC one thirty footage, but it's Obama commentating on it. <laughs> now you see right here. This is where the brown people disappear. Whoa! Did it hardly saw. Him. Is it, they're all in one big you see cluster. That <laughs> is it, and, oh see my that god! Boat? You know the thing of like freaking um, Rainbow Bright or, or what you call the Rainbow Dash in Spider Man? No, but it's him and Boat. Like, see him Boat. I don't know. What you you're know, know that meme else? where it's Spider Man, that guy on the top of the building, a little horse on the top of the building, and Spider Man's like pointing down, like, "Whoa, did you see that?" I don't know what you're talking I don't about. Remember that actually? You've never seen that that meme before. I mean, I, it doesn't. The, you're describing it really poorly. There's Spider Man on top of a building pointing at something, and he's with like Rainbow Dash, and it's like, "Whoa, did you see that? Who? What the fuck is Rainbow Dash? The one of the little Pony. My Little Ponies. Why do you know its name? Because I know the. I, have, I mean, I, I have even, nieces. I even know that because it, it, it when the Bronies became popular, I I, I have nieces and stuff. Plus, I don't I don't think this show's the worst thing ever. Well, I don't see, like, watch see, that's it, where but you like, and I, I differ. Oh, geez, I've never okay. seen one second of that show. I have nieces, guys, that I grew up with. <laughs> okay. You live here. 
Uh, but all right, Carpe Diem. That I grew up with. I'm not. I'm not, I wasn't here in my uh, fun I fact. In my infancy. Uh, fun yeah, fact: sure. Kanye West has been missing for weeks since his appearance on Alex Jones. Have a nice day. Tell him, Steve, Dave. God is alive because Andrew Tate is gonna be caked and cum in prison soon. Uh, John Strickland, <laughs> the N-word mandate found in the Japanese dub of the Boondocks. Um, uh, mm. Merck's 1889, waiting for the gay parody of I've Got News for You by Ray Charles featuring Ice-T. Uh, the first no, church right. of Keith David, or the, there are consequences to saying the N-word. Uh, hello, daddies, <laughs> I'm ready for my Sweeney Smegma. I've been a good little kitten meow. Ooh, I ran over my PTO by getting COVID with, instead of with my 2003 Silverado. My only symptom is rage. pre Blake 896 fucking kill me. Mm. Mortal of peace. <laughs> Look, I'll put I'll put it in I'll put it in I our like what you call it. What? I'll put in it the, in our freaking Discord. In, in the <sighs> It's right there. I have straight up never seen that. But it's Bo and Obama. And he's like, Do you see that brown man go missing? I have never I seen that. I, I, I have actually hilarious. I have You've never seen that meme? No, I've I this doesn't look familiar. Wow. Anyway. Uh Mortal of it's Mortal a of Peace. Sweeney should cosplay as chef from South Park. Next page is oh, loading Habadabababa La Poopy, which roughly translates to English as the Poopy, blocked by Steve Shives, Alaskan oil field trash, field, Alaskan oil field trash, beep, 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 Sue Hulk, uh, Danny DeVito is a transvestigator, <laughs> the dark ending, the gout law, Nikki Ziggy, the gears, the gears series coming to an unfortunate early end after Marcus uses the hammer of dawn as a CQC weapon on Maria's head. <laughs> Uh, nice. Lobotomized <laughs> Jesus, much like his uh, Jeffrey Epstein, Good loves stuff. all the little children. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. I can't read this. There are no words on it. <laughs> I like to chew on Jolly Ranchers. Fuck you. It's not my fault. You have bitch. You bitches have weak ass teeth. Jackson no, that's Dupont. That's just not normal. Uh, <laughs> that's just not normal. It's not normal. I, I'm with you, my guy. I like it. Uh, Jackson Dupont. If you chew on Jolly Ranchers, you're fucking different. You're differently. You're basically able. Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, let's be real. I wouldn't say that, and I wouldn't I say would. that. Let, let's let's, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's like not. Like let's crunch. not I like, say that. I bite that's into. Real. Uh, I bite into Tootsie Pops too. <laughs> yeah, that's just strange. It's yeah, not well, like the guys, craziest thing. Are, you're strange. like that stupid fucking owl in that commercial. Yeah, I did. Yeah, One, I, two, yeah, you, you lick it three times. He's giving you. He's literally giving you instructions. <laughs> yeah. uh, Hugger Derek yeah. now has a bachelor's to be bre- uh, degree. Badly brave. Aetherian. Chris Gate, Mepagerian hunting ass. Melfus one hexblade warlock supremacist. And rounding out our list as always. The amazing. The king. King. The amazing racist. The amazing racist. Uh, king of haphazard. Thank you all for your support. Uh, and we'll we'll see ya. We'll see ya. We'll just see ya. <laughs> 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 <laughs>